Hello and welcome back after that short break to the Tech and World Tour Master Event here in Birmingham versus Fighting 2019 edition. It's been fast and furious all day long. I'm joined with Bubsy, the yeah. man himself. <laughs> you get me representing. <laughs> it's been super sick. Now I heard from you that it ha there hasn't been any upsets I don't so think far. There's been that many upsets. We've seen like many players that I haven't heard of, like, right. and they're starting to make a name. You see that they're strong. This is the great thing about Tekken and the World Tour. It's bringing out these guys that I don't really get the opportunity, and they showcase them when they what they can do. Right, 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 exactly. And that's what, and that's what we're here to witness. Yeah. We're here to witness and call the action as we see it. Shouts to everyone for joining the stream. We're going to have a whopper of a matchup coming oh. up very, very shortly on the stream. You're not going to want to miss this one. It's going to be Germany versus South Korea in the form of Dritten Rama versus Ni. Nee. And these two need no introduction. Definitely no introduction. I remember no introduction last year when I saw Dritten Rama playing the last chance qualifier. He has, I think, some of the hypest moments out of Oh, there. yeah, it's true. Yeah, I think he always manages to produce under yeah. pressure. That's what I'm saying. Some, was it pressure makes diamonds? You yeah. saw a diamond <laughs> being made. You saw that. So true. So true. But then we have Ni himself, Mr. Thanos. You saw him with the glove. Yeah. With a kick oh the God, just days. eliminating the competition. That dead. was ridiculous. I mean, that Thanos glove, when he pulled out of CEO, <laughs> I was bending up, man. But here we go. The crowd's starting to get a little bit involved here. It is going to be Dritten Rama versus Ni. Nee. Here we go. So we've seen eyes going with Kazumi. Wait, what? Kazumi? Now, okay. It's so hard to prepare for Ni nee because <laughs> he, he can just so pull out characters. any character. And the thing is, the characters he pulls out, mm. They're not at a low level. Oh, they no, are not at all. These are the we've got speed boxes, we've got devil gins. I mean, definitely using the tier card as well. <laughs> yeah. All right, here we go. Round one, ready to get underway. Is Dritten Rama ready? Let's find out. Hopefully, I have an EU representative here making <laughs> it through. That would be not being a little sick. bit biased. Yeah. <laughs> a little bit. Shout out to unbiased comments. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> ready with that. Punishing the world standing one with that. I feel like Magic he's just going to use the first Ooh, round. the parry. I that was sick. But I, I agree with you already. He's going to use the first round as kind of a little. A little data collection. Yeah. You know, he's going to build some information and utilize that later on. I like the Jishin Rama just playing very patiently, not yeah. you know, overstretching. No, no, just no. want to see what Lee can do as well. He definitely doesn't want to overextend, especially against Lee. You don't want to give him anything because oh, he yeah. won't give you anything. So, <laughs> I mean, this guy, oh, he's, he's, he's solid for a reason. People yeah. bear him for a reason. He's one of the favorites to take it. Oh, I mean, top of the leaderboard easily. Oh, yeah. Easily a favorite here. Yeah. But he has him in raid. He needs to be very careful. He has access to the race oh, track. Oh, down back three. Oh, back four. Ooh, looking to close the round here. Dritten Rama now. One hit away from taking the first round, but Nii, ever threatening. You can never count Nii out. Never, ever. Don't do it. Oh, love it. he I catches him. And Sabri Dabri, I can hear him erupting <laughs> behind me. First round on the board. See, I love the patience. It's, it's more almost like Sefi Blackest. Just being very patient, not, you know, not biting, not getting too eager beaver. Very That's a bit eager there. That was a weak punish there. I'm yeah. not sure what happened there. I just it, wasn't expecting it. Input error, perhaps. I mean, oh, yeah. It's very un, un knee like Nice. Oh, wow, nice, nice, nice there. There. Yeah, brilliant. It's a 1 2 2 opposite goal for the plus frames, no knockdown. And Dritten also doing a bit of feeling knee out for himself. Yeah, just using all those positive frames, but nothing but positive vibes just, just around here. Just looking for those little openings. Where's he standing? Where's he crushing? What can I take advantage of? But look at this. No buttons are being pressed. Okay, now it's what's funny. Yes. Oh, okay. Down at four. Oh, really he's got the hammer. 1 1 2 again. Yeah. It's a down four. Just keeps it nice, clean, yeah, and simple. No wasting any time. Straight for the low. See, like, no big hits there, just, just very methodical play. Just using those buttons, like death by a million page cuts there. Yeah, I mean, it was a Pokemon round. There was just no big juggles or anything. Look at that. The same thing again. Both players so afraid of overextending, we're just seeing little safe moves. Yeah. That's the only way you can get damage is by utilizing holes in those safe little moves. Yeah, well, Nii's not really going to give you much to go off it. Exactly. This guy's like a, he's a, he's literally like a walking wall. His defense <laughs> wow. is amazing. Wow, 2 plus 4, catches him. And he didn't believe, he didn't follow up on that. Yeah, sometimes he's got to believe oh, nice low parry, still alive here. Yep, into the screw attack. He's going up against the Nice damage. Oh, gets a counter hit. Okay. Oh, oh. Nee wakes up with the one, two jabs and interrupts him. So unfortunate there for Dritten. Yeah, that's probably the first time he ran in was just a little bit too impatient. I think Nee could smell the danger. Yeah. He knew he had to stop him right now. And that's the fastest move, jab. <laughs> Why, Why not, not, right? Yeah. Brilliant stuff. One, two, three. Such a good string to draw. Same it really is. Mid, minus five, unpunishable. Stepping round. I like it. Very methodical play. No one wants to overexert here. No big risk. Oh, nice, down three. nice punish with the while standing one, two. Wow, what a retaliation from Lee. So, yeah, just does the while standing one this time, doesn't commit. And this has got to be a match. Oh, oh there we go. go. This, this is probably the first big launch up. It should go to the wall. Oh, no follow up though. Oh. oh. Okay. Both has rays. He's to be very careful. Yep. He uses the rage drive, spins yes. it. Indeed. He's to be very careful. Lord's rage drive's not really as good. Definitely isn't. Yeah. 
Oh, nicely one done. To the one one two there. What well, the uh, time was on Andres and Rama's side there. Mm. Had to make a move, and unfortunately, Lee was just ready. Yeah. To stop that approach with the jab. Spartans, you know, that's that's all Kazumi's game is about. Those jabs yeah. setting you up, keeping you honest, keeping you there, controlling yes. you. Definitely, definitely. I think in terms of opponent, you know, it's really unfortunate for Drin because he's such a good player. But oh, to yeah. come up against Ni using Kazumi, yeah. it's got to be unfamiliar territory for him. Yeah. I don't see him having a lot of Kazumi practice these days. Mm. You know, I mean, who is he going to be playing? I know Asim uses Kazumi, yeah, but I don't think they play very often. Yeah. So it's just one of those difficulties where you come up in a big tournament and you have to play a top don using an unfamiliar character. It's yeah. very difficult to deal and with. And with Nii's level as well, this guy is... His eyes like a computer. <laughs> he, just, he just knows everything. He's a little data bank. Look at his face. I wonder how many gigs of RAM he's got. Where this guy is a machine. He, he's definitely Absolute like machine. 16 gig RAM. <laughs> some, he's on them higher ones. Oh my days! Next level graphics card, bro. <laughs> All right, here we go. And once again, Jason Robinson playing very patient, but as I said, I get power hit forward. Yeah. I mean, now what was really smart there is. Drin Rama backed up, and he followed him in, but then Ni backed up and made him walk into the yeah. magic force. Super smart gameplay. As I say, these little intricate things are what make Tekken great. Yeah. Noticing oh, these little backdash and movement. 100%. Drenning with the back three there. Ooh, oh, and him while running two. The accuracy on that. Okay, wow. Sliding. That's the first slide we've seen. Oh, yeah, true. He hasn't used any, has he? Yeah. Could oh. be something that to add in. So Ni is, is starting to get a better idea of when um, Drin wants to get those down back threes. He does have rage drive. Ooh. Oh, yes, one, two. Oh, what? That was a clutch throw break there. Both in rage. Be careful of rage drive from Kazumi. Ah, oh, what one day. Whip, that was on reaction who, to the... Who, who he whip punched the... He whip punched the magic four with four. rage drive. What? Standing four. <laughs> that was crazy. Great play there from Ning. Down four, three. Opening him up. To the beans. <laughs> Ooh, one and two. again. A very methodical play, you know. Yeah, he's playing very patient. This is like when Tekka's at his best. It, it may not oh, look man. like much going on. That's the punish we were missing last game. And Ni is waking up here with Kazumi, looking way more alive now as he just takes advantage of every hole that Drian exhibits here. Okay, unfortunate drop on the wall combo. Okay, does have range available since that. Additional damage. Nice step, oh, one, two, two. Wow. That's how he went for the one, two, three. He kept him standing, used the plus frames there. Yeah, and, and Roxley, he's, he's turned it up a gear. You can see it's different to the first game. Yeah, yeah he, he's really definitely switched it up. Smells the blood. Smells, definitely smells the blood in the water. Yeah. Okay, nice. Good start. He's putting all the effort into Dritten's corner. Everything that's stressful, everything that's straining is what Dritten's dealing with right now. Yeah. Very I thought smart. maybe Dritten should maybe. Probably change up a little bit. This patient play style, I guess it's not really working out as much. You can see the insecurity yeah. of Drin's play. You can see he's not sure what to go for. Yeah. He's not comfortable. And that's a really good place to have your problem in. Oh, wow. And punishing the hop kick that wasn't even predictable. Yeah. yeah. And counter hit four. This should be the round if he gets to the wall. Yeah, I think that's, yeah, that's going to be it. That's, that's unfortunate. And even if that wasn't it, like mentally, <laughs> it was over two rounds ago. That was yeah. just a white one. It is. It's because Drin played really well. Even though the scoreline doesn't re reflect it, he played very well. It was very protocol with his approach. Try to play Nia his own game, be patient, but Nia's got many years of experience. I yeah. think you've explained it really well. Yeah. He tried to play Nia his own game, which is definitely a trapdoor. Yeah. You don't want to do that because, like you said, he's very more, he's much more advanced, he's way more experienced, and he's played people that are better at that game than he is. Yeah. You know, so he's learned from better people than he was to get to that level of being able to play that patient, concise and succinct way. So I really feel that if you start going down that road with him, you, you, you're just going to lose yeah. the streak. Yeah, it's not, it's not like He's that. not out. That was winning side, so we definitely yeah. see Drift and Oh, I yeah, expect definitely. to see him go far as well. 100%. I've been saying this to so many people. I'm like, yeah, that player's going to go far. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But so, I mean, Nee, man. He's, he's, uh, he's probably my pick to... You know, take the tournament. Yeah, yeah, yeah I mean, just pick. even even like the whole tour. I think he's one of my picks to take the whole. He's ah. he's probably at the moment my pick to take the whole Tekken World Tour because he's looking so solid. But the reason I haven't really spoken that much about that in particular is because every time someone dominates the leaderboard, they never win the actual final. But it happened. Was it the first when JDCR both domi years. dominated? Then Q does well, come out of nowhere. You know, <laughs> I'm taking this trophy. Move aside. And yeah. then the next year. Who, was we was saw, we saw. Was it JDCR? No, we no, saw Ni. It was Ni that dominated. But then, last year. then when it, what? Panda? Right, Panda? hello, Panda. Where did it come from? What, what? So yeah, this is one of those things that we have to get used to. That on the day, because there's tournaments like the Tekken World Tour. What I've said before as well is the Tekken World Tour kind of fleshes out who's the best over a period yes. of time. Yes, hundred percent. Let's call it consistency. Yeah. And the World Tour Finals chooses who decides who's the best on the day. On the day, yeah, you're 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 a tournament finalist. You're yeah. a veteran. You've been there. You've won the Evo. Exactly. This, this is this is coming for the legend <laughs> himself. 
<laughs> you seeing this? This is like this is gospel, man. This is this is gospel. Word of gospel right here. So I kind of feel like on the day you might come down and get all the burst damage. You might have the best clutch. You might win the whole thing. Yeah. Because you're just down. It's whittled down to just the best players. So if you do your homework right, because you have a lot of time to prepare yeah. as well. You know who you're going to be going up against, and you have a pool with about four other guys, right? Yes, so, four or five. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So if you win your pool, then you know what I'm saying. You're you're in a really good stead to to get to the finals. Um, so yeah, it's really, really interesting. I like the structure, I like the system, and it's a great spectator uh, thing as well. You Definitely. Know? So, yeah, it's really, really awesome. So up next, we're going to have... It's the Team Liquid. Yeah, team Liquid. That's a recently sponsoring Tekken players, mm. and we've got Gen out here, was the EVO 2014 finalist. So no introduction needed, but we have one of our own. One of the young players that I've been, I've been singing praises so much mm. about, me and Spag, is Chicken Maru. Yeah, I love that name as well. Chicken I literally joke Maru. every time. Shout out to Rise, man. Yeah, they, these Doing guys big are, things. Yeah, they've got a yeah. good collection of young players. And these guys, like, they're starting to flourish now. They're starting to nurture. They're starting to flower. And these guys, like, Chicken Maru has only been in this game for a year. Last year versus fighting. And he's, the, man, the leaps and bounds that he's improved mm. is, is so impressive. Oh, it's great. It's great. I mean, this is what it's about. And Tekken World Tour motivates a lot of these young players to improve their game day by day because yeah. they've got something to work for. They've got an aim. They've got a goal, which is really important in anything that you're spending time for. Have a goal. Have a direction. Know what you want to get out of what you're doing before you venture into it. 100%. And this is one of those things like in Tekken, the people that are making progress are the ones that have that kind of steadfastness about the way they approach the game. And Chicken Maru definitely uh, come a long way. It's going to be great to see him uh, do well this tournament if he can get the job done here against Gen. Yes, so Gen's going for Shaheen. No, I haven't actually seen him play Shaheen. No, me neither. Yeah, it's interesting. This, yeah. is, this is the thing about these these players. They got so many counter pieces. They got so many <laughs> pocket characters. Ready to go. Like, yeah, yeah, you can't really prepare. That's what makes it so hard. That's mad. Like a guy picks one character all day and then look randomly <laughs> he'll pick a counter pick, but he'll be solid straight yes. away. No warm up. That's there we go. go. That's the level, man. All right. To see if Chicken Maru can overcome this. This is top 64 winners. We are mm. now in the Ooh. top 64. Oh, my goodness. Gets floated out. The aggression. I like this it. This is where Josie shines when she pit balls, you know? Oh, oh gets in, in the, the back. back. Gets in the dirty, dirty. And that's going to be the first round on the board wow. for Chicken Maru. What a start. What a statement to nice. make. Gen was definitely bamboozled by that. <laughs> <laughs> Got hit with the dirty, dirty. That jump the, over. The dirty jelly beans. <laughs> <laughs> That free two. Mm -hmm. Hey, oh, sliding on it. Slide, okay. yes. DMs and all that. Isn't it? <laughs> Back and out. This is, very, is, it, is, it, is it the year of methodical play that everyone just, you know. I mean, it's what we've worked out that is safe because yeah. obviously you don't want to get with punished. You don't want to be throwing out windy haymakers and just getting blown up, right? Yeah. So it's one of those things where if you want to see what your opponent's on without giving away too much, you do that very slow methodical pace. Yeah. You know, very safe moves, small. And then when you get big openings, you maximize. Oh, oh my goodness. Open Ray Dog gets a tackle. Man. There we go. What's the overall? UFC has oh. just done that. Didn't hit any buttons to Didn't break get down. out of any of them. And two rounds. That was a start from Chicken Maru. Great, great beginning for this game for him. Again. This, could, this could literally be his breakout win that he needs. Let's see what happens here again, though. He's not going to give it yeah, to him easily. We can't count him. Nice slide. Slide into the end. Another low. Favoring the low seeds. It's a weakness. Okay. Working on a perfect, but. Right nice, here. A nice punish. Yes. Takes around Gen. Is on the board here. That's why you need a solid round like that. Momentum. Yeah. Tekken is such so momentum based. It really Once is. you get those rounds in, it just could start something. But as you say oh that, oh my god. Chicken Mario you can't have momentum without any legs. Nah. And that will take them <laughs> out. Oh! There we go. Big crash dash four. Caught him crouching there. Uh oh, he goes back against the wall now. Chicken Mario. And is he going to go for the perfect here? No, denied. But he is looking to get the win here. Just keeping it nice and safe. Oh, Gen with the slide though. Not out of it just yet. Has rage as well, additional Chicken damage. Needs one more hit to take the first game. Backing up, being very Ooh, patient. Nice Great block there. Block. Uh oh. Okay, I like it, just keeping it very safe. Just going for mids. Oh, and this time, finally. Yes, finally closes it out. Stepping with the homing move. In it. Chicken Maru. Yes, we've been singing this guy's praises all day. I mean, he played really well there. Again, got a solid round, but that he didn't let that face him. No. Came back even stronger the next round. This is this is what's so great about these young players. Mm. The, the experience that they're showcasing that, because that takes years mm. to build up that composure. Yeah. You know, not get rattled from that one round. Mm. Like that momentum, just take Jersey it back. Resolve. Now, we see um, Gen running around the character selection here. I'm not sure if he's opting for a different character because he feels that maybe Shaheen doesn't quite have the tools to deal with Josie in the way that he wants to play. Because sometimes a character has good tools, but for your style, it doesn't fit. Yeah. So you need a different character in some cases. So he's gone for the law. Let's see if this can be the difference maker. I've always known him to play Leo or Bob. 
Well, what he might have noticed is he's weak against slides. So Law has uh, he's, so he's, he's got still a big got the slides. slides. And he has things like Magic 4 to stop the flow charts. He has up forward, uh, he has a hop kick and he has flip kicks as well to get over the mix up when he wants to mix up like the, the crash dash into three and crash dash into two as well for the launch. Um, and also Law has great parries as well. So a lot uh, of them strings can get parried if he times it right. So there's a lot more options on defense if you have the right read that he probably wants to utilize. See if this works out here, but Chicken Mario looking very strong. Mm. One game up, looking to carry the UK on his back here. Yep, let's see if he can uh, get the job done. I'd love to see this. I'd love to see a little, I'll call it a little upset. <laughs> I'd love to see it. I've been waiting for this all day. <laughs> this is your upset. moment. This is my moment. This is your moment right here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, oh, oh my really goodness. That is, that is nowhere you want to start the round yes. if you're getting. This thing with Josie, you need to be careful where you press those buttons and those strings. Ow. It's pure damage. That's and not red. The and what confidence here from Chicken Mario just going ham. Okay, blocks the slide, oh, but doesn't no get the wall standing. That was punish. weird. And, and uh, again, didn't get the wall standing one. Oh, there's the magic fry I talked about. Yeah, he was definitely talking about that. Okay. Oh, oh. drops the combo. Oh, oh the break one. there for a second. Yeah. <laughs> He's, that's Chicken so cute. He's so ready for the break. Mm. Chicken Mario looking so strong. Really good. Okay, Crash oh. has free. What are you doing? And he's really playing with that now. He's realized he's letting, he's letting those get in too many of them. It seems like he has real control there. It seems like Gens kind of second guessing him what yes, he wants to do. Definitely, that is definitely happening right now. That was a big whiff punish, big damage. Okay, sliding on him. Using that free. Oh, boom! He got that is he a got hit on the back bop. of the head. <laughs> Give me back those knickknacks. <laughs> <laughs> about so, about Scampi and Lemon, shut up. <laughs> You know about the Scampi 11? About Scampi 11? Don't try. Give me that knickknacks. <laughs> Take these ribbons, saucy, and shut up. Uh, that ribbon. That's the purple pack, isn't it? The purple uh, yeah, pack, I know man. what you want to The purple pack, yeah. We in there, but we got purple <laughs> knickknacks, baby. All right, sec third round here. Again, takes a second round in a close, close clutch combo that got him the rage out. Ooh, and nice punish there. Big. Finally blocks the low. It's going to go towards the wall. Here we go. He's done so much damage. But okay, oh, yeah. It. Those DSS failures, man. Yeah. And I'm not talking about gyro checks. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, okay. I like it. And yeah, it goes oh. to the classic. That is the El Clasico right there. Wow. The down forward one free. They try to start off with the count hit four. Three now. Okay, again, finally nice. trying. Three plus four. Three plus four. Mm. Nice with punish. What is going on? Some of these. I think, some, I think you can throw some back, there. back two, one, mm. and you probably press it together. Yeah. Real quick. A little bit too fast. Yeah. Too quick on the draw here. Dragon Hammer, yeah, into the slide. That comfortable string. Nice with three. punish. Oh, okay, okay. Ooh. Gets a with punish again. I like it. I respect no break it. on the throw. Gonna Chicken get the wall Maru's back. back in this. Yeah, you get a combo after that against the wall. We got both have rage and, and yes, he blocks. He doesn't stay down though. He can punish that. Could have punished that. Yeah. Oh. Doesn't get a counter. Oh no. Hit. Got both. Don't have access to rage though. And oh, nice. Oh, ready. Chicken Maru is sick. like he said. He's so ready in these situations and. This only comes with experience. Yeah. And look at that start of the round, Crash Dash 3. Not scared at all. Okay, tries to catch him ducking there. Okay. Nice punish there from Gen. Mm -hmm. Okay, goes to that. This time gets the pick up. Yes. It's here we go. Screw attack. Taking him all the way across the screen here. And oh. Gen is in big trouble. Slides out though. Just wake up, slide. Why oh, nice back three. Gets the wall break and we go downstairs. Yeah, we'll cut, cut Balcony stepping. break. Doesn't get the wall splat. Uh oh. Oh, oh, oh ducks and throw. No punish though. Oh, oh did he press work? a button? Did he press? No. no, we are not flying. Yeah. We are not flying. <laughs> we are staying very much on the ground. Yes. And it is 1-1. One, one. Gen does not even look happy about that. No. That was very close. I mean, like, oh, boy. I oh, actually man. thought it was such a, it's not, that's not what I want to call aggressive movement, but sometimes you just use movement as an aggression. You yeah. see, the guy's coming forward. It looks like a button. Yeah, it looks yeah, like yeah, you yeah, want yeah. to attack <laughs> in advance, but Gen there with the great read, the poker, just play. I mean, bluff. that was for game. You had to be careful there. That was it. Was over. <sighs> yeah, messed up there. It was over. He pressed a jab. We okay. saw we saw the phantom earlier on with that magic pixel. Pressed the rage up. Yeah, and it happened. It was a great read. Yeah. So here we go. We're at one one now. And are we going to see a switch of momentum? I guess not. As Chicken Maru's opens up. Yeah. He's not letting it phase him. This is big half bar damage at the beginning. Opening again up. Look at the life depletion here. Yeah. Another throw break. Chicken Maru looking solid. One four three. He goes for the down jab. Just wants to alleviate the oh pressure. Oh my just goodness, and a solid whiff punish there. That is a straight Superman punch. Wow. Okay, this time doesn't okay. bite the counter hit. Yeah, last time the one, two. Okay, yeah, he slides on in. Okay, using that. He's staying at that range down. I wonder if he wants to overexert head. Mm. So he's going those lows. Oh, that's could have been a bigger whiff punish. Down oh, nice. Two. nice. 
There you go. Uh -uh. He's definitely going to go to the wall. And this could potentially be dead. Oh, oh magic gosh. pixel. Can he make a comeback with that one magic pixel? No. Not magical enough. No. Side step down for four. He says no. Again, now it looks like he's picking up steam. With he Oh, big oh, punch. to dance up game for mids now. Yeah. He wants to mix it up, but the low would have worked again. Yeah. Again, definitely opened up in the toes department. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Sliding on in we, don't, we don't do pedicures. Nope. Keep them grimy out here. <laughs> Black toenails <laughs> for life. All right, here we go. Okay, yes. nice. Didn't he catch him in the side, so he didn't get the guy keep down forward too. Mm -hmm. And again, that low. The lows getting great mileage off of the lows. He probably needs to do a few more. Ooh, Every time he goes mid, it doesn't work. <laughs> Gets the flow. Oh, this man. could, yeah, I think this may be the round. Ooh. Oh, Magic Pixel again. Oh, man, and for the first time, Gen is leading the set here. As he yeah. into some He's on match point. point. Gen making those adaptions, but I'm not counting Chicken Mario out. He's played Definitely solid. Not. He's yes. played really solid. He just needs one piece of momentum. He needs one bit of burst damage to get the ball rolling once more. Hopefully, throws out the set. He gets a counter hit again, but both. Yeah. No um, capitalization. Trade, so, yeah, he can get yeah. the extra damage off that. And there's the low again. He needs to do more, though. They're yeah. always working. Keep doing them. It seems like Gen does Look, not want to do duck. the mid. Do the low. <laughs> I think he's mixing himself up. Normally, when he goes to the same thing, this guy oh, is no. going to duck. And a big hop oh, kick. Oh, and Chicken Maru, after a great start, has let it all slip away. Yes, and that's going to be, gonna be yeah. it. And unfortunately, Gen. Just too strong on this occasion. Takes it two games to one versus Chicken Yeah, Maru. definitely give Chicken Maru a round of applause yeah, there. He, he played really well. Yeah, but again, impressive. I mean, really impressive um, just mental maintenance. Yeah. There. Not falling apart. A lot of that stuff that Chicken Maru was bombarding him with could have definitely made him slip over mentally. And yeah. again, stayed in the game, stayed strong, and it, it worked out. You know, people say, like, you know, best of three is too short, but there was some definitely solid adaptation. In yes, what do you call it? Adaptamentation. Adaptamentation. Was it you that created that? Uh, I don't it? think so. Ah, I, I think it it's you. something, I can't remember now. I, I don't think it was me. It's one of the things that anyone could just yeah. randomly say. But I remember it happened. Yeah, it's a four days. I think I remember. Adapter Mantage. Adapter Mantage. Yeah, because, you know, it's one of them things where you're on the back foot. But the thing is, as well, that a lot of people don't realize is when you have to, when you beat someone in a first game, you have to give up a lot of data. You have to give a lot of information away in that win. Yeah. You know? It's one of the things that people talk about as well. Like, when you lose a game, you think, ah, oh, you know, I've, I've got bad 3 0. But you didn't get to show your stuff. And you've seen a lot about what lot, he likes yeah. to do. So you've got all that to work with in the next game. And Gen used all that stuff that Chicken Maru showed him to ca find counters yeah. and get the win. He the found end. a counter character yeah. that seemed to work as well. So he must have seen something in that first game and thought, 100%. Because he this went, is he, it. He, went, he, he was using Shaheed. Yeah. There was a reason he switched to Law. He saw openings with Law. Exactly. He was talking about the different options he has. And probably that's what he thought. He thought, you yeah. know, this works better in this kind of situation. Yeah, I'm going to use that. And it, unfortunately, well, I say unfortunately, fortunately, wherever you're from. Unbiased, well, unbiased. <laughs> and, you know, I use both words. Yeah, unfortunately, yeah, you know, yeah, you've yeah. got to keep it neutral out here. It was yeah. unfortunate for me. But, <laughs> but. No, fair enough. I mean, shout out to Chicken Mario. Yeah. Shout out again as well. They both, their, they both tried their stuff. You know, that's what we're here to see. And yeah, uh, yeah we've got Lohai, the Evo champ. Oh, oh sorry, John Ding, John excuse me. Ding. Got, I, I didn't even. I just today. saw the UYU show from behind. <laughs> <laughs> here we have John Ding versus now, Gosain. This is the run back from, I think, last year's Summer Jam. Mm. So these two played, and he went down to like the finalist of the final pick yeah. final round. Mm. John Ding just clutching it out, and I'm sure Gosain wants his run back. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Gosain playing out of his mind in Lodz, Poland here, coming third. He was actually in the winner's final. Gosain has some amazing moments of Tekken. Oh, he, he has some sick, sick moments. Those he, young boy reactions. Mm -hmm. these, these young kids that are coming up. I Dude. think it's Adderall, but that's me. <laughs> 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 All right, Dragon Hammer to start off. Down 4-3 follow up there. And John Ding pacing himself. Yep. Okay. Ooh, oh, okay, Rodeo. Rodeo, no break on that. I don't think I've ever seen a set open up with Rodeo like that. Why not, man? Well, standing 1-2. Oh, nice uh, whip punish on the Dragon Hammer from downtown. Yeah. You got Eddie with the spaghetti legs. <laughs> <and screwing laughs> back. Look at that, man. The noodle legs. Your side step. Nice block. No, you don't really see many people block like the first hit of side step four. No. I mean, you get hit and block the second one. Yeah, no, you definitely don't. Oh, my days. Power, power crush. crush. Yeah. Okay, plus frames, positive vibes, more positive vibes. And he's positive. Just saying, trying to create some control with the Dragon Hammer. Yeah. He's trying to create some respect. Yeah. Respect my frames. Yeah, respect my frames. He's not really working out the spaghetti legs, and he is tortellini <laughs> out of him. He doesn't care. After Dubis, I'm the pastor, right? I'm, I'm really, really hungry. Tortellini, yeah. Ten seconds on the clock. John Dingo. Slides on. He has the rage. He has a slight lead, but he does have rage. Oh, uh, no. That's if he be did it. rage up on that flip up. If he did it, oh <laughs> my days, that would have been ridiculous. All right, here we go. John Ding now gets around. 
Looks like a convenient crouch grab there. Yeah. Stop that. Okay, nice question step in. Track four. Negan officially having toasted marmalade in that caravan watching. <laughs> Are you a Walking Dead fan? I am indeed. Uh, I've watched, I watched, the whole, I watched the whole series. Uh, I haven't watched Fear of the Walking Dead yet, though. Ah, uh, okay. I've seen the whole thing. Rick. Right, here we go. Just chopping away at him. Go team does have the last la yes, three plus four. D with punish. Did he get the side wall splat? Yeah, weird angle. Weird so angle. the thing is, he's side Oh, the there. one, two, three. The three clipping him out. Oh, yeah, that's nice. it. Back Ultra. to two. Back to one. Yeah, back to one. Yeah. But that, back to one plus two. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah, one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah, gets the punish. Optimal punish there. Oh, I've never seen that happen. One, one, one two. Uh oh. Rodeo. Yeah, this time he Broken. breaks it. Yeah. Probably just wasn't ready for it the first time. Point by surprise. Rodeo, you know, try last two, man. <laughs> what? Oh, man, he gets floated. Definitely a miss input there with that jump. He gets a guaranteed four. And John Ding now finding a better pace here. Nice. Yeah, and, and things are starting to work out for him. He's finding that control, that space he likes to use in matches, playing at the perfect placement to make it difficult for Gosain to take damage. Yeah, edge has got one of the best backlashes out here. So using that movement, okay, goes to the 50-50 here, gets caught by the low. Okay, guaranteed, yeah. Nice follow up. Oh, oh wow. big boy damage. Oh, man, that's Takes gonna hurt. Wall wall. And yeah, Gosain in trouble now uh, against the caravan. Seven golden oh, letters. I'm calling it gold now. Spike's not here. It's, no, it's not yellow <laughs> no more. Come on, that, that color's gold, right? Don't tell me that's, that's, that's not yellow, man. What, what's your verdict? So let's, get, let's get a second so opinion. Seven, so seven yellow letters came from Tekken Tag because the letters were yellow. But on Tekken 7, they look a bit more gold. All right. So I had to get a second opinion here. So I'll, I'll say gold. Uh, I'll all right. Gold. I'm going to have to stick with the gold. <laughs> all right, here we go. Oh, nice. nice. Well, rising one three there. It goes to the big boy damage. Oh, yeah, he is ducking. Look at this. Look at this pressure. Yes, John Ding oh, looking extremely strong. The, sav the savior is watching on, guys. Uh, no, oh, no duck, duck on duck, that. But, but he didn't need it anyway. Throws yeah. it out. And this has become a very one sided affair. But I'm not going to count Gold Saiyan out. Okay, nice. B plus four, indeed. Okay. Yeah. Go to DSS oh. on point. It's all working. One, one, two. Oh, it doesn't oh, punish. Okay. Can you take that back, please? We'll create some momentum. Oh, Ooh. man. That's not what he wanted. It's a set. Okay, three. Looking very, very difficult for him right now. Ah, he gets caught dead. Headlash gets caught by the relaxed stance and there. John Ding making a short work of him in this, in this game so far. I mean, he's just doing a good job of not really being in the place. Uh oh, Ooh. have I spoken too soon? Yeah, that's a great is that punish. Be now, did he dash up in time? Yeah, he gets yeah. it. Now, I don't know if this is going to be dead. I'm not good at judging these. Oh, wow. Okay, I think that just about killed. Because it looked like it was going to scale heavy. <laughs> I think that just about killed. Yeah. That was great awareness there for Gosei to know that. I mean, it disconnected the USB, man. Wow, that was <laughs> heavy links. That's how, that's how hard it was. <laughs> Came hard with it. On point with the punish. Okay. okay. Oh, fair low. Crunchy. Crunchy now. Just free. Just pushing him <laughs> to the wall. Shout out to Kellogg. There you go. That was a pressure <laughs> session with those DSS legend kick. Not legend kick. That's a fly kick, man. Just mashing him up like yeah. that. Uh oh. How do you kick man to the corner? That's just. Oh, drop oh, in, in the, the back. back. Big damage. Okay, I respect it because you didn't know where the wall was. Yeah. I yeah. respect that. But Junk, now, junkyard in the back, just like a dodgy warehouse. <laughs> oh, my days. <laughs> All right. Flying kick straight away. Gossain now Ooh. definitely um, has turned this game around. Yeah, probably just needed a couple of games to wake up, see what Eddie's doing. Okay, one, one, two. Okay. okay. Oh, nice. he pressed the button. I'm not sure what yeah. something went for there. Can't really test that. There you go. And Big nice. damage. Look at that half bar gone. Oh, has a life lead. This is looking really good for Gossain right now. He tries to get that one. Okay, Rodeo, Rey Mysterio in. Oh, no. Switches position in a it's bad position. Now. Yeah, it's a very bad position. Okay, yes. nice. You see out there. Oh, nice. Great punish on point there from Gossain. He's going to go to the wall to wall. He's going to get it. No, he didn't get it. That was for the game. That was definitely the game if he got and that. That's going to be it. Yes. yes. Down back three. Gossain. Second one closes it out. And look at him. Call as a cucumber. Takes a second game. He is definitely. Wow, this is what I'm saying. Gossain in Poland and played out of his mind. He's taken this this confidence he's got now to this event. Now, I think Gosain in laws that was his breakout performance there. Mm. Played out of his mind. And, you know, with that momentum, that confidence that, yes, I've beaten these top players, I've beaten these Koreans, I can do it now. Well, what you see happening with a lot of Law players, Dritten Rama, Gosain, Lohai as well, is when people get the first game against Law, they get confidence. Yeah. And when they get confidence, they go a little bit more ham. And running into Law is the worst thing you can do because he has so many ways to counter hit you. How many Magic Force have we seen? How many yes. 3 plus 4 whiff punishes have we seen? Oh, three what, plus four. what happens when you get confident against Law is you make Law stronger. So you have to always remember, 
don't go crazy. Just because you got the life lead or the game or the round lead, always be patient. Yeah. And John Ding ran into way too many things there. But Gossain in his own right played very, very well. And it's 1-1 and I don't know what's going to happen. I this seriously game. don't know. Maybe we're going to have another repeat of Savage but this is going to go to the final, final, last Maybe. Pixel. But yeah, but that's why Laws always usually win by comebacks. Mm. You know, lose the first game and bring it back. All right, here we go. Down 4-2, trying to uh, nice. bait Jump Jung there. Oh no, didn't quite get that. Oh, he could have still got the 4-3. He okay. says cancel, but it's John Ding right now. I wonder if um, Gosling's going to mix up his slides, because he's like... Um, he hasn't really done many, has he? It's, it, but they've been getting blocked. So I wonder yeah, if he's going to yeah. go for something super risky. <laughs> and just make, just make John Ding think, you know what, yeah, you need to think about my options here. Okay, nice punish. Oh, goes to the DSS Pro. Okay, nice. There three we plus go, four. three plus four. I don't think this is going to be it, though. No. He needs to be very careful. Eddie does have rage. Here we go. He's going to have to hold this. Nice, nice. read. Gossain. On point there. Go the low. Smart stuff. Now in the lead in the set. Gossain. Oh, three plus four again. So sharp. Yeah, he's, he's one of those guys who can't test his reactions. Oh, okay, cross up. What game oh, are we playing? No, no. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Cross and black, bro. Give me that pickle. <laughs> All right, back two. Clips him a little bit. Okay, very patient. There goes nice. nice. Down for two out of Yeah. Okay, use his puck play. Positive vibes wow. here. Down for three. This is great stuff from Gossain, turning it all the way round. Wow, that is set now, point. He really has the momentum here. John Ding from Korea under pressure here. Okay, he's got a combo. Definitely going to go towards yep. the wall. Okay. Needs to be very careful. Back to four. Will wall splat. Mm -hmm. Okay, he's fighting out from the wall. Okay, punches that. One, two. Okay, magic four. Catches them out. Oh, oh, just no. that dash up. The dash didn't come out. Ooh. Oh, oh, went for the power crush. Nice start, but no punish from John Ding. He needs to be very careful. Back against the wall. Oh, Wait, did he, he, he did back two. He did back two. He tried to do back two. It hit raw. So it's going to do so much damage. Oh my John goodness John Ding in a very bad position. Does have rage. Oh! Go Sane. And Go Sane has defeated John Ding here, two one. What a comeback from jo what a comeback from Go Sane. And that clutch rage out at the end there took so much life. That took crazy, crazy life. Oh. John Ding is not happy with that one. He is not happy with that performance. You can see it on his face. He knows there were some errors there that it just shouldn't have gone down like that. But shout out to Gossain, oh, man. Big shout out. Asked him on stage to congratulate him as well as he goes up for uh, his next uh, <laughs> That was a nice hand. Wow, that there. was tense, man. Yeah, everyone and giving yeah, him a round, a round of applause, applause again. Yeah. Gossain representing the UK here in Birmingham. Great, great stuff. Defeats John Ding here in the winner's wow. bracket. Um, wow, what an impressive set that was. That was great beat at the end, going for the mid, the homing move. But this is what I'm saying. Law wins on with punishes and counter hits. Whether it's a counter hit rage out that we saw at the end there, or yeah. counter hit wall splat, or counter hit three plus four, or counter hit magic four, or if you whiff something and it gets you, those are some of Law's strongest points. And I think one of the reasons he stopped doing the slide is because he realized he doesn't need to. Yeah. He's getting damage from so many other avenues. He didn't need the slide anymore. Definitely. Slide district got deleted from the map. <laughs> there was no slide district anymore. I, I'm, gonna, I'm going down three plus four up drive. Yes. You know what I'm saying? And, and counter hit Boulevard. And I'm going <laughs> to win with those. And that's it. No, no, no slide district anymore, baby. So this is what you have to do. It's also about understanding how your opponent likes to move around. Eddie, like you said, spaghetti legs. In theory, you would think slide would be a good mm. tool. But John Ding, such a good player, really ready to block he the slide ready and punish. While standing free. So he had to find other ways to get damage. But yeah, shout out to Gossain, 2-1. Shout out to the both of them. That was a great match. One yeah, of the greatest matches really, today. Really, really set. I talk about great so, matches. So, so you were saying you want to see some upset, some juice up. Would you see, say that was a... See, no, no, this is... I, I don't know. <laughs> was that an upset? No? Did we just say an upset? I don't know, because we saw, <laughs> we saw Gosein in Laws do this. He beat the a Korean. He beat mm. the Korean. So he's kind of proven that he can hold yeah, his he's, own. He's, yeah. So, so it's not really an upset. He's having an upset. I'm proud yeah, yeah. about that one. I'm proud. <laughs> see the smiles right. back. All right. All right. We've got to keep, we keep Bubsy happy yeah, all day. Keep, yeah, we we Come on, man. <laughs> Now, so this is going to be another good one. Yeah, and it's no, just the creme de la creme matches all night. Yeah, this is what all it's going to be from here on out. So now there's a little bit of lore to this because I was K, K Wiss was doing his um, his streams and he was doing his like looking through the brackets as people do nowadays. You know, we're going to look through this bracket. We're going to see who we're playing. And in Poland, these two played against each other. Okay. And Asim won. But it was a close game. Okay. But K Wiss on his stream said after that I know what I've done wrong. Watch. I'm gonna make these adaptions, mm. and I. What he said, I, I've seen my predicted bracket and where I'm running, mm. where I'm going. Mm. I want Asim. He said I want Asim. I know what I'm gonna do this time. I love He's that. Ready for I it. love that fighting talk. Yeah, I love, I love that it. fighting talk. I want to see and look at his face. Look at his face. If looks could kill, 
there will be deceased beings right now. Because <laughs> look at that, look at that stern look. Nah, that, <laughs> he spotted. I put nah. him into a smile now, isn't it? But that was a killer space right there. So here we go. Nice sportsman-like gesture there with the handshake, yep. and we are getting into this one. It is going to be Asin versus Kwiz, a potential rematch, a yes. run back. This from, is the run back from Poland. From Fighting Games Challenge. Let's see if, because also it's been a little while since they played, so maybe a yeah. lot of that stuff he had on the download, he's forgotten now, and so on. And maybe Asim has also changed some stuff. I don't think he forgot. The way he was talking, <laughs> really? though, I don't think he's forgotten, <laughs> bro. Yeah, this is a vendetta. Geese this is part powered. two. Asim has a couple of characters in, in the store. Mm. He's got a couple of characters. He's going for Geese first game. Geese, Horan, Kwiz, Asim. I want to see this. UK versus UK. UK, yeah. So let's see, is this going to be a case of he's done his homework or be careful what you wish for? Oh, man. You know, your eyes are too big for your belly sometimes. <laughs> you know? <laughs> indeed, indeed. Round one. All right. Straight in. Okay. So Straight let's see what he's learned. I'm, I'm interested to see what he's Ooh. learned. Oh, okay. Maybe wow. Fourth, fourth. The airship. What? And we've got Dragon for us straight away. JK and Wolfsblatt. Right. Downstairs we're going. Nice. Downstairs indeed. There you go. Get some Wolfsblatt. Oh. Elevator not working. <laughs> These facilities will help out with that. We're not even taking the stairs. We're wow. just going down the ground. Oh my goodness. Okay, nice. Wolf's back there. Saved him on the damage. Oh, nice nice duck on that. Shame he didn't get punished. Almost like he wasn't ready for that. Yeah. Nice okay, low parry, low parry. ready. And some of these reads that you talked about, about the way he knows what Asim wants to do, are starting to show here even in the very first round. And there's a break. Asim, temporarily break. still alive. There you go, Max Mode. He's glowing yellow. Oh. Ooh. I oh, just and chopped down him, two. Bro. Wanted to check his shoe size. <laughs> Christmas is coming. All right, here we go. I remember back in the day when you go to Clarks <laughs> and you have them, them foot measurements. <laughs> right, he's measuring right. He's measuring K Wiss right now. Oh, down four two. Tries to stop him stepping. Okay, nice. Okay, goes to the flipping mm -hmm. goal. Doesn't bite. Nice, nice crouch. Yep. Yeah. While standing one quarter circle back, one punish. Geese. So many players one plus two. prove that Geese is one of these ones that now I think creep up on the tear. He got a little He's slight nerf. Savage. Yeah, that nerf didn't hurt. The back yeah. three, that didn't hurt. That's just a little scratch. It's a minor scratch. <laughs> <laughs> okay, tries to catch Ooh, seven. Ooh, okay. Oh, shame he couldn't got a bigger punish. And there's a bigger punish. Down Maybe forward one. This should go towards the wall. Geese always finds the wall. Okay, no, he doesn't want the wall. We're going that downstairs. That might be it. Yeah, that should be it. Okay. Oh, my oh, goodness. No, still what? got the magical that pixel. That scaled bear. Down forward one. Catches him ducking. Geese's oh, throws man. are so deadly. How do you <laughs> chuck man in the air like that? <laughs> it's mad when he does that to like Kuma and stuff. How do you throw a bear <laughs> that high? Oh, interesting trade there. We're on Wall Street right yeah. now. Try to go for the oh. Tinder swipe. Blue stuff. No one having some. Okay, Max okay, Mode, yep. big combos. Bear dive, bear dive. Airship Pukin. Okay, checking his shins. And so far, k -Wiss not able to really exhibit oh, too nice much. Man, that is but homework. that was sick. Right? He did that. I remember him doing that in Poland as well. That is he did that in homework, bro. The A star on that. Another throw break. I think it's a situation where Kwis just needs to find the momentum. And once yeah. he can start exhibiting some of that, once he can start controlling the pace of the game, we might see something different. But, but so far, it's all Asim. Yeah, and this should go to the wall, because like I said, yep, he's finds the wall wherever he's at. Oh. He knows where oh the party's at. Good. Tells man to get up and then get wow. back down. He's your ideal graffiti artist. <laughs> He'll find them walls, boy. Trust He'll me. find the walls. I don't understand. Every wall. He just, yeah. Geese always, his wall carry is insane. I mean, I've seen like Chikorin and, and Pekos do like a million jabs to the wall. Yeah, jab, <laughs> jab, jab. <laughs> it's then the last JK and it always reaches the wall, like wall to wall. No Facebook, boy. boy. All right, this is good, man. But Kwis, he um, started strong. He, had some, he definitely he had some, did he had, start strong. There, there, was some, there was some potential in that first round, but I don't know, Asim kind of just sort of took it away and ran away with it after that. But Asim's, Asim's uh, probably one of the the strongest, in one of the strongest in the UK, arguably. Probably the strongest, arguably. So he knows how to adapt as well. He's great at adapting. He yeah, knows when to how to disrespect. One of the most important things I feel in Aston's gameplay mm. is he knows when to press buttons to disrespect you when it's, right, when it's your right. turn. When he's got a point to make. And that rattles you. Yeah, of course. Of if course. it's my turn, you're taking my time. I'm like, bro, what are you saying? <laughs> what are you doing? Like, what's going on? <laughs> Football we're friends, man. Like, all right, here we go. I like it. Mm -hmm. Plus frames, positive yes. vibes. Okay, just using that forward, 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 just push him away. Oh. He's using the Rapu against now. Can, yeah, keeping him at bay, controlling the space. Smartly done. Okay, and one, one, one two. two. Ooh. He's now just playing very methodical here. Just waiting, has the rage. Has access to rage. Oh, Ooh, just tried to skyrocket. Yeah, tried to go for the big and stuff. No break on that. And he's looking for the chip damage here with the Rapu can. Needs to be very careful because, like I said, chip damage. Oh. It's going to be start time. Plus frames. Uh, like I said, what did I say about disrespecting <laughs> when it's your turn? That was pure plus frame. 
I'm talking the positive vibe. I think what it was, it was minus being on minus frames versus the next hit's gonna kill him. Yeah. So he just gambled. So that's all that was. And it paid off well. I'm saying he just knows when to press those buttons to yeah. disrespect you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's probably gonna rat. He's probably gonna rat him. Thinking, bro, I was. My I was on plus though. What are you doing? What you one, one, two, follow up. Tried to catch him stepping there, but Kwis very patient. K oh, plus frames again. Three, yep. Can't press any buttons there. Yeah. Oh, to catch man, him he's really trying to catch him stepping here. That is a proper cat swipe, but... <laughs> That's one, oh, wow. One Big. round each here. Yeah. That's one of them lazy Tinder swipes where she's all right. <laughs> like, you're yeah. not sure if you want to... Oh, all right, yeah, you know, save it for I'm all right maybe. for Friday night, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Already. <laughs> all right, here we go. Fishing with the back... Fishing for the back three. Okay, Kay was trying to get more aggressive here. Nice. While rising 4-4, just when Skyrock get blocked. Yeah. And he's trying to get more involved Ooh. here. He needs to. Oh, he doesn't get the combo. That's good for him. That's good for Kwis. Yeah. He needs something to go his way right now, because so far it isn't. Okay, Rapuken gets hit by it. Yeah. Counter hit. Fast frame. He, again, Asin knows when to disrespect the plus one. That is plus. He's just such a master in disrespect. <laughs> one of the smartest game fans on Tekken is knowing when to disrespect. Yeah. yeah. Can't pay by the book all the time. You need to actually put something in your opponent to rattle them. Great punish there. Uh, we're definitely going to go to the wall, like we said. Graffiti artists, geese, tagging up them walls. Okay, here we go. Okay, for that guy, he goes for the health seat instead. Oh! Here we go, it's going to be big boy damage. Okay, steps off the wall. Oh, good point. Nice the three. Yeah, and the down two. And he. He smothered Kalos. Yeah. He, he absolutely smothered him in that set. And it was a really, really dominant performance from him. Kalos initially did look promising. He yes. looked like he had a better understanding of how to approach Asim. But of course, like we talked about, Asim has probably also been in the lab. Yeah. Probably also watched that same, very same setback and thought, oh, I, I better not do that anymore. It's going to be dangerous. Sometimes you need to, what's it, just keep it, you know, loose lips sink ships, maybe. You shouldn't have said that. Asim's like, bro, are you coming for me? I've got the Arsenal ready yeah. right now. Asim was, probably in, Asim was probably in the stream chat. <laughs> he was probably in the stream chat. He's lurking. Graffiti artist 329. He was in there. <laughs> some, some random alias account, bro. Okay, so up next we have one of my favorite players. Super. super. I can't super. do it. Where's Yuki? You know, whenever, whenever he's up, we need Yuki to do the super. But here we go. Yuki, the, he's going to pop up somewhere. I mean, he's essentially the defending European champion after his mix up Leon. Oh, right? yes. That was. Um, a proud moment. I, I loved it the way I love being in Lyon. I love being in France. The France, really the nice. French cars really get behind yes. their players, and yes. that storm, that the, the amount of times they invaded that stage, I've seen it. <laughs> it's, be it's beautiful, man. It's beautiful. Versus fighting 2019 coming to you live and direct from Birmingham. Yes. United Kingdom is hype. Tekken World to a master event. Man, it's been hype it's so been far. It's been hype, and if you want to get hype, remember to type exclamation mark joysticks with Bomba and big shout out, big thank you to Astro Game Headsets. You know, you need the precision here, and these guys are wearing it on the stage yeah, right now. Yeah. You need to hear that Doria, you need to hear, <laughs> it you know. I mean, exactly. There are certain moves that you react to because sound you're hearing. Cue, sound cue, and yeah. you know, we did like um, a couple of years back, we did like a, a census test of the human body, yeah. and the ears react faster than the eyes. Wow. The ears react faster than the eyes. If you can't hear, you're dropping frames. Your reaction time isn't as quick. You might right. think it is. You learn something every day. I didn't yeah, even know that. your ears react. Play, play random reaction tests on your phone or whatever. You'll realize that your ears are reacting to stuff that your eyes didn't even catch yet. Ah, yeah. All right, that's interesting. There that's we interesting. go. That's, that's why you need one of those Astro bad boys. <laughs> go out there. So that's some. the selling point right there. Yeah, Get one of those Astro headsets. The 820, the 850, <laughs> they got bare range. They got a solid range of headsets. Whatever your needs are, Astro Gaming have they got, got you. you. They have got you. AstroGaming.com. Check it out right now. Open a new tab. <laughs> Yeah, Every that's what I'm time. saying. I'm sure you guys know how to work the internet. <laughs> go there now. You know, if it, well, I'm going to see a sell spike right now. You know, <laughs> they're going to be like, yeah, these guys sell spike. But then right now, we're going to have Super Akuma versus Barty. Mm. Barty is a very strong king player. And obviously, Super Akuma. There's no introduction No introduction, needed, no, no yeah. introduction needed. It's like it was written for him. He had his name Super Akuma from way before Akuma was even in Tekken. I know. He even thought that about it. Destiny. Exactly. That's what it was. We got Wild Fighting 4 That is now punishable. Unfortunately, yeah. I used to be a king player. That used to be kind of things, but back no one more. two punish there. Nice big punish. And Super Akuma actually played a king player earlier today, so he's very warmed up against this uh, matchup. I'm not sure what Batty can do differently though, because Batty is definitely a probably slightly more efficient king yeah, player. Yeah, he's definitely got the fundamentals. Very good. I see a great good punish here. Gets the dash up. Goes for the easier combo. Mm. Power bomb. Ahmed Johnson. Let's go. <laughs> 
but Akuma does have rage and has one. That's the oh. Ahmed Johnson. That's the Ahmed <laughs> Johnson. <laughs> He doesn't get a Yo, so no. Super Akuma now. He's going to need some damage. He's looking for it. Ooh, oh, that magic pixel. Uh-oh, oh, uh oh Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Mm. Joel tried to chase Spends the, the bar on that. There's 10 seconds left. Barty not doesn't want to take any chip damage. Whoa. And the satellite drop kick. The satellite Whoa. drop kick to take the first round. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. How did that? That went over the fireball? Wow. That go through the fireball? Barty is here to play. <laughs> I don't care what tournament you want. <laughs> I'm playing now. But no, super cool. Okay, Archer's well, back. standing two. Uh, uh. Here we go. Here goes to us. Uh, no, he doesn't mm. go for the office. Here he goes for the Chases him down. Okay, box. Okay. Straight boxing. Yeah, breaks the last one. Oh, look at that. A bit late on the punish there. Could've a little bit late, yeah. Nice. And that's it. Yeah, yeah. Flo, he's going to take it all day, all day. One, one. <laughs> one, one. I'm no, surprised that yeah, jump. Well. That was gas. That's how that jump kick was ridiculous. <laughs> Bro, I wonder if there's something he works on a new, because I never, that literally went over, I don't even know how that went over the Yeah, fire. yeah. It's one of them king things, isn't it? Yeah. If you play king, probably know that. Oh, to the groin. Oh my uh, that's the Dundee players when he was <laughs> that drop, isn't it? The Dundee <laughs> drop or something like that. Oh, he went for it again. Uh, okay, so he does know. He that went for it again, that's his thing. <laughs> all right, cool. We, we know now. Yeah, yeah. Education <laughs> all day, every day. Uh, the tech has now been shared. <laughs> all you king guys. I mean, I think more importantly, Super Akuma knows that now. He's going to be very aware. <laughs> yeah, the bar out. makes it safe. Uh -huh. Makes it plus, in fact. Yeah. All right, nice one, two, there. one. Ooh. And he's baying with the jabs. There's an interesting float. Four, four. Okay, he's going to get a run. Okay, doesn't run up this time. Oh, uh -oh. side steps. Probably expected a fireball to come out. And Barty's giving away some important damage here. And Super Akuma is oh, all over and it. And this is going no. to hit. Oh yes. my goodness, that's definitely dead. It. Here you go, looking at the crowd. That's <laughs> definitely dead. Uh, oh my days, the damage. Wow. Barty, Barty. Had a great read. 2 1. But it's scary now. And it's got to affect your confidence as well when you've got a solid flow chart going on against your opponent and then they just do one rage out and win the round. Yeah. That's got to hurt. Oh, in the oh, back. Oh, in the back. Wow. Huge damage. I like it. But needs to be very careful because Super Akuma does have that. Another! He was, he was uh, looking for a Bible there and this is a solid win. This is a solid round so far from Barty. Looking to close oh the God. game. Oh, uh -oh. Gosh. Super oh Akuma. Gosh. Don't count this guy out. Hey, hey, hey. He, he won a rank, he won a master event for a reason. Just like that, uh -oh. he equalizes it up. And he's not going to do any more fireballs now. Not nope. when Barty's on the hunt. Oh, oh my gosh. And the world standing 2 2 catches him off guard. And Barty goes up 1 0 here. Wow. That was mad. <laughs> Chops him up, bro. Straight chopping. You know, the slap chop things. Straight chopping. That's that chop when there's one guy in the group who hasn't paid for the dinner. <laughs> he gets that chop. There's always one bread. <laughs> oh, I've got a story about that. I'll have to tell you later, bro. <laughs> Talk to anyone this man. I swear everyone's got a story. If you go for a dinner in a group of 10 or 15 people, there'll bro, be one guy at the end who hasn't paid. No, bro. I'm, I'm Why is it always even, one this guy? This was even deeper. Someone came to my house, right? <laughs> is it? I was like, yeah, let's order Chinese. And he thought the Chinese was on me. I was like... <laughs> what? All right. he, about her and I had to, he didn't have no money. I was just like, bruv. <laughs> I need to hear more about that later on, but here we go. Game two, Super Akuma on the back foot. He's gonna want. He's gonna need to win this one against Barty. He wants to stay alive here. Down Wait. four. You didn't see that many suits. The down four. Oh, okay. Catch him with the demon nice. to palm. Oh, oh my goodness. Catch him. him stepping, but no follow up with the focus attack. Yeah, that does hold track. He's let Barty live here, and there's oh. a back throw. Boston the, crab the, or the half ankle Boston lock, crab. the half crab. Yes. Okay. Oh, he's another demon to palm catches him. I wonder what he's pressing. This is still anyone's that. round. He's got, he's got some ideas. And there's a float there though. He's been caught by a few floats there, all the way to the wall. Yeah. Oh, oh, spends the basket. Additional damage. He needs damage. one more hit though. He needs one more hit. He oh. needs one more hit. Oh, that no. was it. Oh, Barty. Could have taken okay. the round there. Still has a brief satellite drop kick. He's in there. Oh my goodness me. The air fire will jump back. Doing the infiltration. Oh. oh, and that is so unfortunate for Barty. You definitely could have won the round after that block down four. So he oh, he's going for Morty's here. Why not? Let's go. He wants damage early. <laughs> Does not want to let Super Akuma build in momentum here. 2 1 punish. Yeah, but he needs to be careful because King is one of those ones with an air grab, so you can that's, that's a very good point. catch him out of the air. But Super Akuma is running around the screen. He's trying his best to build momentum to stop Barty in his track. And there's a good opportunity there. Nice damage. Oh, Ooh. man. Just on the back. Just put a heel on someone's head back. It's <laughs> <laughs> a good job, nice. yes. Oh, oh, man, that's it. Yeah, that's yeah, definitely yeah. it. Oh, that's it. Super Kuma looking a lot better this game. Yeah, well, he he's a champion for a reason. Indeed. Oh, 4-4. Four, four. Another one. Okay, DP. Okay, we're going to uh. get the full combo. Okay, uh, uh, we're going to go to the wall. Okay, get the tail spin. Okay, he went for a nasty yeah, set Looking there. for tech catches, looking for naughty stuff. 
Oh, wow. And Barty, so unfortunate for Barty. You can yeah. see that he's definitely affected by the events earlier, ah. and that is it. He just didn't get a look in that game. A Super Akuma ties it up, just like nothing happened before that. Uh, yeah, he's always got such a cool, calm look in his face. He has a very relaxed demeanor. He does. So he does. there's Yuki. Yuki's. Uh, I told you he will appear. Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I told he will you he will appear in yeah. a moment's notice. He'll be there. That, I'm telling you, this he'll guy be there. He, crop, he crops up anyway. Like a genie out of a lamp, he'll just yeah. be there. All right, so it's one-one here. We've seen two very interesting games. You know, one of a bit more clutch gameplay and spacing that we saw from Barty in the first game, and another one with slightly more rushdown, slightly more extreme usage of the walls to get pressure, yeah. to get momentum, and to get that big important damage. And you've led it into a perfect segue. We've gone for a wall of stage. Yes. Barty probably realized that, you know what? That was my, that Oh was my hot. God. Okay. The Ahmed Johnson, the power bomb. Just catches him. He goes to the sweep. Okay. Oh, that's nah, the first nah, one nah. we've seen. Kicks him off. Kicks the, the left pectoral. Get off me. Nah, none of that. Ooh. Oh, wow. Nice. The Jaguar step backwards. Nice. Yeah, very evasive there. Uh, Follows the up. Uh, mm. So mix up there. Okay, down forward one. I like it. And he's not letting a Super Akuma in here. Oh. oh. Okay, ooh, plus frames. He's got to be patient, though. Very patient. He's got to be extremely patient. Akuma is deadly when he's near death. He is absolutely deadly. First round, Barty. So this this is why um, stages count so much in Tekken. And yes. As you see there, the change of stage, it seems like Batty is now a lot he's more back in action he's now. Back in he's action, back in you know? action. There we uh -oh. go. As you say that, he's looking to put him out of order. These combos hurt, man. What, almost half life gone. Hey, oh. Wall of nice. stage, half life gone. Oh, I like it. I, oh, oh. And catches it with the technology. Wow. No. First time with second time with third time was the charm there on yeah. that string. I like it. That looked like a more of like an office thing. If he teleports out, yeah, just I'm carrying on going. Oh, oh, in, in the, the back. back again. Here you go, chop, chop. Just dash up, wow. hockey. No respect. Oh Yo. my days, combos in the back, uh. like a dodgy McDonald's boy. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, catch him float. Doesn't get the jab. Okay. Good. Oh, tried to go for that clean hit. And Barty looking really, really good. Two rounds up here, looking to close the set. Taking away all the space by just running up to Super Akuma, forcing him into mix-ups. Oh, oh no, he got counter hit there. Uh, uh. Okay, is he going to have to go for Oki damage? Okay, goes for the damage yeah. run up. Follows, follows in with that. Oh, goes kick. for dive kick. That's a nice option here. It that was really like good. It beat, yeah. the it beat a couple of things, yeah. didn't it? Yeah, yeah, that was sick. Nice. All right, Super Akuma finally gets a game. I guess a round in this game. Oh, Ooh, he went for the big Moi Pro. And then back again. Here we go. With the giant swing command. Just cut angle. <laughs> Oh, we went for the hop kick. Wasn't a bad guess. Uh, uh. He had been moving on wake up a lot before. There you go. Again. Okay. He's gonna run up. Let's chase it down. Oh. Oh. No down range on three. that down three. Oh, the drop kick with with Akuna's just getting out of this. Wants to drop. There's Jump a lot. Away. There's a lot of wish punishes going on. <laughs> wish punishes. Just wishing for it. You wish upon a star, mate. There you go. Right. Oh. One. And Barty looking to take out the mix up champ here. Looking to close cool. it out here, 2 1. Next is going to do it. Ooh, oh, the Addy kick, but it's blocked. And Super Akuma now with a chance here. Staying alive. Here we go, one more mix up, has the bar. Can he have done the rage drop? Oh, oh my oh! god! The satellite drop kick to close the set. I can't believe it. Barty with the read of a lifetime here Again. takes it. 2 1 over Super Akuma. I can't believe that. That was ridiculous. That was ridiculous. Barty with the accuracy. With My the accuracy. God. That command is forward, 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 two <laughs> kicks. How are you ready forward, with that? Forward, all that? How are you doing all that rapid? Barty, props to Barty. Two games to one. Takes out Super Akuma. Oh you can man. see him getting off the stage. A little sight, a little, little smile there. Stunned. A little smile come out. A right smile there. Yeah, he's happy with that. Uh, you know them ones where you don't really want to blow up in front of you, but inside you're blowing up though. Inside you'd be giggling, innit? Inside it's bare joy. Like but you just keep composed up. Like, yeah, yeah. It was cool. I'm calm, I'm calm. He's, he's probably going to go to the ladder. Like, he sees he's walking off. <laughs> he, there, there he, goes. He, just, he knows, he knows, he knows. He knows. But Gosh. shout out to Bati. Great, shout great game. Super Akuma as well. Yeah, that was a good set. Because Super Akuma exhibited some really sick, like, uh, adaptation in that second game. Yeah. I mean, I think the walls the built, built some more confidence for him. Yeah. He didn't really know what to do with Barty on the wall of stage. He was just going for stuff. Yeah. But on the wall of stage, he had strategy. He knew I'm going to do this, I'm going to angle him like this, I'm going to get him to the wall, put pressure in with that afterwards. Definitely. So there was a lot more going on in the strategy department. And but this is why probably Barty went for the wallers. Yeah, and that's why the rule, these rules in Tekken, the new rules in TWT this year, the stages. You can pick your stage. So it's so you big. You can pick your stage. Yeah, that's massive. I know. Not it random stage. It right there. Yeah. It, it 
change the tide of a match. So one of the most Indeed. infuriating things before was when you would go to random and get the same stage again. That's so <laughs> annoying. You, you, you specifically went to stage select so you could negate that situation. And then Saves. it just happens again. Nah, so now bro. you can actually pick the stage. It is great. And we've seen some super sick action so far. And it's going to continue here. Who's getting on the oh, stage right now? Is that is Pecos? It's Pecos and is that Eddie. Pecos? Yeah, it's Pecos wow, and Eddie. Wow, and Eddie. And yeah, these two. Stellar performance, both of them, and this is going to be another great one. Eddie, he's, he's one of my favorite players. Like, it's, it's, he's come from online, so he came, started online guy. He was one guy, he was high ranked with loads of um, characters, but no one knew who he was. <coughs> no one knew, we never seen him come off. Right, right. And then it was, I think it was last year. Was, no, I think the year before that, two years ago, versus mm -hmm. fighting, someone came up with the name Dragonfly, which, okay. and he came under an alias. No one okay. knew it was him. Okay. But then people started to put you know, pieces and puzzles together, like, hold on. Aren't you that guy? Yeah, <laughs> like, you, I've seen you online, you play like, and it was like, you know, Chinese whispers like, mm. that may be Eddie, pass it on. <laughs> that may be Eddie, pass it on. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, back back in the day, it, there were no like ring names or anything. It was just that guy with the red hat, boss my head. <laughs> <laughs> that guy in the arcade with the red hat. It was literally that, like that. That guy like, with the Air Max. No, like, I'm telling you, bro, because yeah. people were like, this Leo's just busting heads and we mm. don't know who he is. Like, yeah, I've okay. got bust. This Leo's sick. And then people just they start putting two and two together. Yeah, but I'm yeah. happy now. He's coming offline. Nice. No, great. It's yeah. great. And he's going up against Pecos, sporting that grey face mask there. Doesn't yeah. want to spread any uh, germs. Very considerate. <laughs> and this is, uh, no, this is great, great stuff. Going to get into this one. Geese Howard. His yes. uh, geese is looking really strong. Yeah. Looking really, good. really strong. Thumbs up, we are good to go here. So I know Eddie was kind of preparing for this match. He had to look at the bracket and saw that, you know, if I win, I'm more or less going to run into Pecos now. Ah, so he was aware of this. So he's aware, so yeah. I'm sure he's, I think he's going to go with Bob. Or was it no, Leo, he's going to go with Leo. Leo, yes, okay. It's the Leo. First, I mean, I don't know what's happened earlier, but this is the first Leo that I've seen in this tournament. Yeah. So far, so um, um, was there another Leo earlier? I think Joe Flix played Leo in a couple of his matches. Oh, randomly. really? Oh, yeah. okay. Okay. I don't All know right. why, but it happened. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. <laughs> Anyone, so he, Fair enough. he knew. He knows more than me. That's why I'm here. <laughs> oh, Hammerhead stage. I love this music, man. It's Final Fantasy. Isn't it? Shout out to the remake coming <laughs> out. Are you a Final Fantasy fan? Um, back in the day, I was a bit more, you know, when 7 was actually out on wow. PS1. But yeah. since then, I haven't really followed as uh, frequently. Okay. But um, yeah, but I, I do like the, I do like the series. Ah, nice. So here we go. Back one, two blocked. Oh yes, gets hit by the three. Mm. That string. So those those are nice one, with two. punish. So I know Eddie was definitely preparing for this match. It's going to be interesting mm. to see because he said he wants to go with Leo. Yeah. Because he doesn't want to go with Bob for a specific reason. I can't remember what it was. Yeah. I mean, preparation and the actual. You know, the actual like half the hand yeah. is another thing. You know, like preparation is one thing, but the experience is another. And if you're not ready, you can just get blown out of the water. And sometimes preparing the wrong way can make things even harder. Yeah. So yeah. Here Got we go. Off with the lower pirate, he's gonna go towards the wall. He always, like you said, he always finds those walls, even though it's like a fence kind of thing. But he finds I it. I mean, this is a smaller stage, so yeah, definitely a bit easier for him here. But Eddie is gonna um, gonna need to do something to get out of the blocks here because he's. Stuck at the gate right now. Yeah, I don't want him to get kind of like starstruck and like be on the stage oh, and yeah. the lights there. He shouldn't do that. This is something that he's not used to, this offline thing. He's right, actually said right. that to me. He said yeah. that him playing with the crowd, he doesn't feel like he plays at his best. Oh, no, I completely understand that. I completely, um, I, I feel him on that, yeah. you know, because one thing that a lot of these um, offline players don't understand is the pressure the online guys when they come to these offline yeah. events for the first time experience. It's really, really difficult for them. What? Did you see that? <laughs> well, right, why not? Yeah, raising some after the round. Go big okay, yeah, while running one follow up, max damage. So, so that cat swap, save it for later. So, Crash gets wisdom that Eddie needs to really get something yeah. started. I mean, Eddie, Eddie, you can see he's not as confident, and I think Pecos is aware of it yeah. as well. Here we go, it's going to be big damage. Here we go, uh, jump back. Here we go, stylish combos. Oh what? my god, I, I didn't even know what? this works. Is this dead? Is this no. dead? No, the life. The damage! What? Where did this bar go? I'm hurt. That <laughs> hurt me. Yeah. I'm right. gonna play. I'll get you some band-aids <laughs> for the next game where you're going to need them if he does combos like that. I've I ne I ne I never seen that. That was nuts. Pecos, man, not dropping anything. Ah, it seems like Eddie's just probably thinking, yeah, he realised he can... Okay, maybe this is his stage he feels comfortable in. Mm. This is weird. I think some people will also pick stages just because of the music. <laughs> no, it's, you wanna it's real. You want to create the right ambience it's for real. Bossman's head. Trust yeah. me, like, yeah, 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 yeah. It, it works. Like, if you're exercise on the side. You sometimes you need that right tune. When That's I used to true. go jogging, I used to listen to um, Mob Deep, Survivor of the Fittest. Oh, I love that I tune. To, I, I used to jog up the hill, Survivor of the Fittest. I was like, yeah. yeah I'm, I'm only 19, <laughs> but my mind is old. I mean, the lyrics are deep in that tune. The lyrics are deep. All right, here we go. Game two. Let's see if um, we can get his mind right in this game because 
that first game was all Pecos. But it's also yeah. one of the things where you come to an offline event and play a top player, and you're not sure what works. Yeah. What opens this guy up? What's he weak against? How do I get damage? You know, these things are all massive question marks. He's being very, you know, he's just blocking him. He's got sidestep in the Rebukens. It's yeah. kind of a one-win yeah, sign. Yeah, there. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's very true. One four punish though. That okay, was nice. nice. Okay. Just, you know, settling in a bit. <laughs> nice. Here we go. Getting himself ready on the couch. Okay. Waiting for the hot cocoa to arrive. Oh, I could do it. Oh, man. He seems like he's a bit, you know. Yeah, it's, it's, it's not comfortable. It's very rough around the edges yeah. right now. Hopefully he can. There we go. We got some sidestepping yeah. going there on. It's a little bit better. Hit down okay, for two, trying to, down for two. trying to catch him running in. Yeah. If you're Ooh. moving forward, you're not blocking. Down one plus two into two. Oh, nice. Pop nice. kick again. Yep. Throws it out. Like you have to do. Is he gonna, yeah, he gets a dash up this time. Oh, unfortunate. Uh oh. Oh, uh, no, that, that was scary. Pegoff did have a bar. He could have converted that back three. Yeah, but maybe this is what Eddie needs. This is the round he needs to calm himself down. Yes. I mean, Eddie, it's good to get on the board early. Yeah. There's no point getting around when the other guy's already got two. <laughs> two. You want to get the first one on the set so you can build yourself up. This is what we're seeing the now. Constellation there as well. Oh, nice block day. He's starting to get used to the strings. Okay, oh, nice. Yeah, down, down four, two. two. Okay, now maybe Eddie's starting to find his groove. Definitely is. When Eddie got his groove back. one, two. Like the field loss four. Doesn't get it, though. He goes on the team swipe. <laughs> Big swipe. That, that is the real light. This is the super light right now. He's used it. Yep, finds the wall. Oh, no follow-up, though. Ooh. Oh, oh, here we go. Oh, that's just a parry, though. No follow up there. I think he's hoping for the wall splash. Yeah. Uh, all right, so 1 1 here. Second that was game. very unfortunate. See, Eddie had the right read there, mm. but it's just the, the curve of the wall there, I think, just messed him up. All right. Back 4 4. Yep, he's going to hit the wall. Yep. Uh uh. Big double repuke. Double repuke. Oh, and the low parry. The classic. Oh, okay. Interruption, I like it. Mm -hmm. Stop. Okay. Go to the toll Get hit by the high there. Bear plus frames on that. Starting yeah. for three. That is real positive vibe. Uh, this time, yeah, we finally got him to duck low. He just kept doing the uh, same thing yeah. until until Eddie mixed himself up. Yeah, he got hit by all the hits as well. It's, mm. it's a worry inside. Yeah, unfortunately. Okay. Oh, nice sidestep there. Hey, now Pegos is just standing there saying, what are you going to do? Like, show, uh -huh. me, show me what you got, son. <laughs> Let's see what you're saying. Hey, back three doesn't. Let him rip. Oh, okay. nice. Here we go. While standing two out of nowhere. That used to be the Kallax special. You can <laughs> hit everyone with that. Really? Go ahead. Right. Right. Nice. Yeah, picks him up. Hit okay, down jab. Something that probably Eddie can pick up on that he's down jabbing after that. Doesn't want to deal with the pressure. Okay, yeah. double repeat. Pressure against oh, the wall. Again, then, now he yeah, gets the wall. This time he gets the damage. Four, yeah. four, three. Goes to the low. Okay, one, nice. four. one, four. Yes, down. and then down four. Ties it up here. And he's looking good to maybe maybe get a game on the board. But needs to be very careful because Pekos does have the bar. You know what that means? Uh-oh. Pekos threatening here. Four, two. Pekos okay, the one bar. And oh, oh okay, nice counter. Nice. Eddie blocking for his life here. Crouch dash one. But he has two bars again. Oh, that hop kick. Here we go. He's caught him out. Is Eddie going to get something started here? Pekos wasn't ready for that. No follow up though. He's dropped the follow up. Oh, back. the down back 4-1 and Eddie has woken up here That's and it is 1-1. One, one. He puts the pad down for a sigh of relief. That was a brilliant comeback there from Eddie who looked completely down and out in that first yes, game. I like it. Now this is, like we said this before, it's such a momentum based game. Is this the momentum that Eddie needs to come back? We've already seen um, Gosein defeat. Yes, an Asian. I yeah. mean, it's like you said as well, he's probably looking for how to take damage, you know. He's probably looking for like where the openings are because this is something that he's yeah. unfamiliar with. He's come from the online environment yeah. where it's nothing like this. Mm -hmm. Playing in front of a live audience, hundreds, thousands, millions of people watching you around the world on stream. Yes. It's hard to get used to that. And then you're playing a top player, a proficient player, at that as well with a solid character so all these different elements coming in and just in one massive little melting pot of an offline tournament it's right. hard to manage deal like that and he is really really starting to shine here i mean one one and he's put pecos on the back foot look yeah. pecos is thinking he's thinking, he's thinking hard he's putting him on the ice stage he wants to cool him down bro <laughs> he's putting that guy on the ice he right definitely now. simmered him in that last game <laughs> final game here let's go you <laughs> can Okay, okay. Ooh, oh, goes to the low this time. Oh, the delayed hop kick. Getting cheeky now. Oh, wow. There we go. The scoop. Oh, it takes two scoops of that. I'm, it, a mint I'm a mint chop chip myself. Baskin Robbins, shut up. Oh, one four. Looking good here. Okay, so far, hit. yes. Nice. Oh, no, not enough for combo, but it was enough, though. Yeah, he gets him. It was enough to send a message that, hey, I'm ready for you here. <laughs> I know what you're doing. It's back Peck off now. now. Oh, that's a big whiff. Oh, my goodness. He didn't commit. Should I let it rip? Oh, oh no! Big count hit. That this might be it. Maybe it. 
Okay, extends the combo. Oh, okay. Okay, what's the Okazemi? Is he oh. gonna break it? No. Oh, unfortunate. No yeah. break there on the takedown. The tackle sealing the deal here. All right, Pekos backing up, creating some space. He wants the ref you can option. Okay, down slap. 4 2, catch him stepping. Try to catch him coming in with a hop kick. Yep, nice punish on the 1 1 2 with the 1 1 2. Okay, okay. I like it. A lot of interruptions here, a lot of interruptions. Look at, you know, not letting him talk. Oh, you should have let that rip actually crush. Yeah, there's a lot of. This is what I'm saying, he's not sure all the yeah. time. Like, he doesn't really know. Okay. Okay, here we go. The European get up. That is the UP get up. Uh, yeah. Oh, again, shows a bit of nerves there. Walking forward. Oh, nice. Okay. Ooh. Nice, doesn't bite. Oh, could have got a bigger punch. Oh, oh kick. kick. And that's definitely going to be it here for this round. Yeah, okay, yeah, that is it. 1-1 one, one here. And this is a close set. Backwards and forwards here. Let's go, Eddie. Got bite. So. <laughs> oh, can't hit. Nice pick up. Scoot. Yep. Picks him up like an Uber driver. <laughs> there you go. Uh, four two. Tries to catch him Stefan. Okay, gets a punish now. I like it. Goes for the sweet bank. Yeah, nice trade for him. Oh, nice trade combo. I like it. He was, oh, oh no. No. you can't test people with them. Yeah, not, not with that. Not with no, that. No. Not with that. Right. Okay, here we go. Ooh, Ooh the he interruption. Ah, oh, he doesn't yeah. actually cancel to match, but I think no. Eddie was expecting that. He so was waiting for that. Yeah, yeah, he was yeah. waiting for the cancel. Didn't come, though. And Pekos moves into match point here. That's like when you're waiting for the bus, bro. And he comes on the coming. other side first. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, that's a whiff there. Oh. Eddie fighting for the same winners. Pekos just back that champagne. Yeah. Very patient now. Okay, in the sweat. <laughs> okay. Oh, hop kick. Oh, I went for the hop kick. It seems like the hop kick has been getting him quite a bit of mileage. When though. he's a bit closer, yeah. Though, when he's a little bit closer and it's a scramble, hop kick is a good choice, but not from that range. It, it seems to be working a lot. Oh, no. Oh, but Pekos with a drop. Okay, using the knee. Okay, probably went for a parry there. Yep. So dabbing on them. Oh, and I'm definitely. Yeah. There's definitely some pressure on Eddie's side here. He needs something big right now. Oh, no, oh, that's not what you want. Wow. And that's probably going to be the round there. And that punish, that is not an easy punish, ladies and gentlemen. That no, command no, is not easy. Man. That is like the pretzel command. You have to do down I back, half circle back, down forward, and punch. Yeah. Wow. That was a bit of a deflation there. It feels yeah, like the card both so punches. Oh, that, I mean. Uh, it's a heartbreaker because Eddie had such a great comeback momentum. Yeah. And he just couldn't carry it through to the final game. He had a burst of everything working out for him. The clutch hop kicks were coming through. Yeah. He was getting all the right um, guesses and getting the damage from that. But then he kind of ran out of steam, you know, in that last game. Pekos just ran away and kind of stopped him being able to force guesses. Yeah. And yeah, and Pekos takes it. Very uh, comfortable. It's just one you know? of those things, like we said, Eddie's coming off, like he's kind of new to the offline thing. And this is something he's going to pick up that experience, yes. not yes. to run out of steam and be able to go a little bit further. Yeah. Duracell, you know, then once uh, <laughs> switch to Duracell. You want that pink bunny to run all oh, night, that's, bro. that's energized, actually. Sorry, my bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that pink bunny has to run all night, bro. I mean, there is also a Duracell bunny as well, so you're not wrong. Uh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, there is. There is, there is. But so we're going to cut to a short break, guys, but do not go anywhere because we've got more amazing good ass Tekken for you when we get back. We'll see you soon. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to VSF 2019 here down in Birmingham. I'm Bubsy, joined by the legend, Mr. Ryan Hart. That's what I'm saying. You know, he doesn't <laughs> need no introduction, really. We, we all know who he is. Man, it has been hype. The top 64 so far has been full of amazing games. Yeah, really, really has been. I mean, good example of that just happened with Barty versus Super Akuma going down to the wire. Adaptation from both sides, clutch moments, uh, really, really sick stuff. Probably that, I think well, that's probably one of my favorite moments. That satellite drop kick, not <laughs> once, but twice. That was really sick. And then, of course, Gossain beating John Ding here. That was really good as well. Yes. And we had another good set at the end there with um, yeah, Pecos and Pecos, Eddie. Yeah, I mean, Eddie did get a game on the board, which is which is actually good for his first outing. Yeah. You know, that's actually not a bad thing at all. So here we go. I guess we're going to get straight into this. No, so I'm going to give you a quick rundown. This is going to be Fireblade versus Wiki Wiki. Fireblade, Wiki, yes. Another one of our many Horang players in the UK. This <laughs> seems to be... I don't know what Starscream has created, <laughs> but we He's have a lot of The Taekwondo Force here. All right, and Fireblade, we all know who this man is. Yeah, strong Yep, two four punish. So say, I love these young guys, these, these young UK guys. Like mm. I, I've said this before, I'm going to keep repeating this. They are so hungry, and I love the way they play the game. Oh, okay. Counter hit. He gets a trade combo. There you go, goes to the, Okay, big stuff. Well, back 2-1, but it whiffed though. Oh, my goodness. Ooh, that, that, that's something I thought wouldn't work, because it was in the yeah. air, but... 
Yeah, it was on his way down. So yeah. He got caught. If he done the, um, actually got the slash kick and press three, that, mm. have, that um, might have gone over. Yeah, maybe. I mean, death. Probably. Here we go. Gets to the wall. Jab. Here we go. Okay. One, two, three. All right. Okay. That's a one, two, three. That's, that's the old Tekken Fire combo, I think, isn't it? One, two, three. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, look what's Kind of very old school there. Okay, back. We've got the Arsenal and Ash Protein commercial. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Back to one. That is a jid round. There, okay, starts with a power crush. Okay, mm. low power. He did one. None yeah, of that. Yeah, he done. He done so many lows the first round. Five yeah. names onto him. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. This is All this right. is what's good about Tekken. When you see these players adapting. Yeah, it's so true. So we're gonna see I how mean, he adapts. It's always scary if you see the guy adapt after just a single round, though, right? Yeah. Go to the shredder again. Unfortunately, yep. that doesn't Tekken four work. combos. <laughs> <laughs> I was actually watching. So the main man is doing the series where he's going through old Tekken videos. Oh really? I'm, you lot should actually watch it. They're actually quite. It's, it's that nostalgia to me. I'm just looking at this. I'm like, oh yeah, I can't believe that used to be happen. Oh my god, that was what? That right, used right, to right, be right. like this? <laughs> it's good. Yeah, Tekken has changed a lot over the years. While staying true to its, you know, well, true to its nature, it's actually had a lot of uh, revamps and reboots. And it, it's just great that they've always managed to be creative enough to find new ideas and ways to make it cool. Yeah, they've made Tekken 7. I think it's definitely one of the best Tekken oh, games. Oh, indeed. 100%. Ooh, oh, wow. Catches Baked it. out the parry and punishes it perfectly. Heavy goal gets the wall. Uh, uh. Okay, mix up. Back Look at that. Three. Back three follow up. That yeah. looks kind of guaranteed to me. That looks a little bit guaranteed. That looks a bit guaranteed. <laughs> <laughs> Not sure if I like that. Down four. Oh, oh nice. nice. Up evasive. Four two. I like that. Evasive goes to the axe kick. Here we go. Gets to the wall. Uh -uh. Savage sword follow up. Nice. Yeah, here we go. There's the mix up. Oh. Didn't want the and that was adaptation as well because Jin Fireblade went for the low parry before. Yeah. In that same situation. There's the mid option there. Okay, didn't want none of that filming or mix up. Just stop it. Oh, and another great low parry. Fireblade just onto the lows. Scouting them out, boy. Right. Takes the first game. I think like, low parries, they, they, you can account so much damage by yeah. low parry in this game. It's because you get the tail spin as well. Yep. It creates that um, wall carry. Mm -hmm. It's big damage. Like, low parries pay off a lot now. A lot I'm more in Tekken than they used to. You can see what, Wiki having some words with himself right now. He's yeah. uh, looking through that data. Looking through that data of all the pages on Wiki of tech and knowledge, <laughs> trying to get the answer to Fireblade right now. Well, yeah, sometimes you can't really be believe what Wiki says, man. <laughs> you can't believe that stuff, you know. Oh, he's going to need lies. to find some answers right now. I mean, you know, he definitely had some openings in that game. There were some opportunities he wasn't able to take advantage of. Um, I think to open the set, it was good that he rinsed the lows. He did yeah. a lot of lows. Flamingo stands low, Flamingo stands low. And then it stopped working entirely. And I think at that point, you have to just completely drop that strategy, uh, like, you know, just leave it alone. Yes. And maybe come back to it later, but have a, a succession of mids maybe for a while so that you kind of show him that this is not all I'm, I'm yeah. not a one trick pony. Because Definitely. Fireblade was risking getting uh, hit by mids just to make sure he wouldn't give access to the lows. Yes. And luckily for him, that game, the low parry damage was enough that he could get the win. So see there, that's, that's so yeah, the great Wiki thing about Deep Tekken. in thought, look at that face. Very furrowed brow, man. But or do you think he's really? I think he's trying to choose a random stage and reaction. I did, they can't see the screen. Actually, he's just—it's like the random select stage. Random stage. He's yeah, He's he's a. Uh, he's waiting to get how it is stage. I think. <laughs> there was that. There was that myth legend that Mr. Naps could um, could pick the stage. Uh, like on, yeah, like you know, he had reactions on random stage. Really? It was a, it was a myth. It was a legend. I don't know if it's true. <laughs> but listen, that's that was the Chinese whispers that came all the way to the UK. That we need guy. to have we need to have stage select money matches. <laughs> where you do random stage, and if you can guess what stage it is, you get the, you win the round. Right. Best of so five. Double or nothing. Keep yeah. going. Yeah. Just keep there putting the money down. Tekken stage world tour. It's gonna be. A thing, You've done it. It's gonna probably be like a halftime show this year. Now let's make it happen. <laughs> All right, here we go. Second cool. game. What can Wiki show us? Okay. He needs to bring something different. Nice, nice. down nice. four two. Nice. Now he's starting a bit different. He uses yep. the back dash, creates some space. Down four two. I mean, that was a smart down four two because Fireblade has a game lead, so he was prepared to play more aggressive. Yeah, and Wiki was onto it. Okay, here we go. But he has a good position right now. Has his back against the wall. I mean, Wiki being a lot more patient. He's taken half life. You know, no need to overextend here. Yeah. Okay. Oh, doesn't punish him. Oh, oh yes, yeah, nice. Size the four. Uh. Okay, what's the Okazemi now? A nice. Look at that bait. Back dash again. So uh -oh. he's probably thought, come up with a few answers here. Mm -hmm. As you say, he sort of started the round off with the back dash. So yeah. it works. Yeah, it's great. So why not end? Great Start adaptation. He's been, he's been thinking about this. He's been thinking about this in the intermission. He's like, what do I need to do here? Oh, wow. Oh, look at that. Electric wind hook this. Okay, we're going straight downstairs, balcony break. Yeah. Disrespect wind cathedral. Oh, man. Uh -uh. This is probably going to go to the wall. Just short almost, of the wall. Almost, almost. 
Oh, you need to get up, sir. You need to get up, sir. <laughs> oh, man. It's such a scary position to be in, like, especially getting up with your back yeah, like, this, face this, down like that. This is the first class section. You can't sit here. Time to get up. Oh, my God. All right, four, four, three. The left split. Oh, I like it. Here we go. Can you get the full combo? Definitely gonna go towards the wall. Ah, oh, he drops, drops it, it though. But here we go, goes to Flamingo, picks up instead. Yep, goes to the Flamingo low again. Nice health speed. That's the first health speed you've seen. There we go. Puts him towards the wall. In a very bad position. Oh, big with punish here. Gets the wall slap. Oh, oh just a little, it was a little bit too early. He had the right idea, yeah. but for some reason it was a weird kind of tech roll that didn't give him the timing he wanted. And there's another health speed. There we go. Now, Fireblade's noticing. Okay, you started off the round with lows of lows. Let's see if you're blocking these lows. <laughs> Let's see. Oh. I mean, House Leap is risky, so he saved him until he was winning. You know? I know what the thing is. It's like the tech of metal. If someone starts bare lows to you, like, what are you doing these lows? I'm going to do lows to I'm you. I'm doing my own back. And he yeah. just got low parry at the beginning <laughs> again. That's the mind game. It's so deep. It's deep out here, man. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Just about missed out on that yeah. punish there while standing two. He recovers so quick. Okay, this is deja vu. We saw that again. Yep. Baiting out the parry. While standing two, 14 frames a bit slow there. Okay. Oh, nice. yes. Slap man down. Oh. I think this may kill Jin. No, it doesn't oh, catch him out no. the air. This actually. Is this no going to be dead? Yeah. Okay. No, it doesn't kill him. Wiki's still alive here. Has the red dress as well. Is he going to go for Okay, oh. down for. Oh. oh, and he gets yeah. it. Down for one into the rage, uh, rage drive, excuse me. Nicely done from Wiki, staying alive. Yeah, trying to save match point there. Nice, Back with three. punish, I Brilliant like it. Stuff. And he's probably gonna go towards the wall. Oh, just drops it again. Okay, just back dashing out. Oh, now the health three. three out of three for this. Yeah, completion is 100% on those. He gets the tail spin. Okay, what's up, Kazemi now? Okay, nice. Ooh, good side step, jab there. Okay, nice parry into T4. Fireblade threatening, trying yeah, to close the set. Both First and that's it. Yep, the float's gonna take it. Back 2-1 and the 1-2 jabs. Wiki, a much, much better round for him, a much better game for him, but unfortunately he got into the set a bit too late. Yeah. I reckon if he had played like that in the first game, we might have seen a different outcome in the end, but Fireblade just, uh, yeah, too good this time round. Taken. That's very unfortunate there. I mean, the back 2 1, it's, it's a, as a round ender, we, it's just so good. We was talking about it with Spag. It's mm. range. It's got range. It's a safe mid. It's range. It's two hits. Yeah. It's a safe. Both hits are mid. I mean, you can delay it. Like, there's yeah, so many two, things about that move. One. Yeah. It's such a great move. Mm. You caught it in the air. You see, it floats. You can, even if it floats, you can actually get a combo yeah. from it yeah. as well. Like, it's always been a really, really strong move. Jin has always been known for his very, very large amount of safe mids. Yes. <laughs> That's one thing Jin has going for him. So, um, yeah, shout-outs to uh, Fireblade. Really nice use of the parry. So a, a few yeah. slick parry into two four punishes. Really, really good. You have to be this. ready for that as well. Mm. No, it was great, great stuff. So, I All guess, right. looking out, what are we going to have next? Yopalix. Yeah, we're going to have up on stage. Yeah, that, that's probably how you pronounce it properly. We're, I, think, we're, I think it's I'm pronouncing it like Joplix. Like the proper UK, I'm from <laughs> South London. Yeah. Joplix out here. <laughs> no, I want it. Yeah, you're actually right. I think it's Yopalix or, Yo, or Yopalix. We're going to have to ask him after. Stream guys, if you guys know how you pronounce his name, tell us. Is it Yopalix? Is it Jopalix? Is it I'm Yopalix? Probably, I'm probably butchering bear names out here. <laughs> I am not good with the names. But he, I can't butcher this one. Needs more coffee. Our resident bear player here is going to go up against Yopalix. Yopalix. Yep. So it's going to be... Kuma versus, I'm guessing Claudio. But he's been picking Steve, though, isn't it? Um, who? Yopalix. Yopalix, yeah. He picked Leo today. I've seen him pick many characters. Yeah, it, yeah. It could be the year now where Tekken, like, everyone has these pocket Just characters. Just moves into new characters. Yeah, well, it, it seems that Nii's been showcasing why it's so effective, you know. That's true. You may, for example, you may have, I like to use this example, mm. Jin, not Jin, Brian versus Jack. Now, okay. Jack with a down four two. You can't throw it out willy nilly against right. Brian because you're right. going to get the jet up. Oh, but yeah, if you play sure. someone like, I don't know, who doesn't have that mm. punishment for that frame, mm, mm, mm. you know, it, it, the matchup's a little bit different. It's a lot it's different. Not, yeah. It's not like heavily based in something like, you know, like how Guile and, and Bias used to be in Street Fighter 2, right, where it's right. just like, you ain't winning this. Yeah. It's like, you can still win it, but it's, it's, not, just it's a few things. It's not a super extreme mismatch, but there are certain situations that you can't use at all yeah. versus situations that you we can use a lot, like, you can kind of spam them. You know, yeah. if you're playing a certain character, you know he hasn't got a certain punish at that range. Um, this is oh, like the, this probably is the, the longest, longest handshake, handshake I've ever seen. Right? It was going on oh, from that before. needs to get clipped. That's, is that the last, the longest <laughs> someone, handshake we've ever someone seen? Someone needs to get that clip and put like a timer. We need to see how long it was. Yeah, I want to know how long was that handshake. Please let us know, people. All right, so here we go. Yopalix with a nice yawn there. 
can see the day's taking its toll on him. Yeah, and it's been a long uh, day of yes. it's Need more coffee is the perfect that. name for someone yawning like that. Mm. Yes. So uh, maybe these token, two can work together. Maybe need some coffee, can get him some coffee. But um, last day on Earth, and like you said, it's indeed Claudio. Ooh, straight box. No, no messing about, running two. <laughs> straight, we're getting straight in there. Straight bang, right? <laughs> Schoolyard bang, bro. Isn't it? You know, when, you know when you didn't win that blackjack, then bang, bro. <laughs> All right, here we go. Blackjack back in school. <laughs> I remember that. Around the, around the lunch oh, table. And this is not working out for Needs More Coffee. But definitely Needs More Coffee is one that can adapt. He, he definitely can adapt here. So I, I and, expect the first Kuma, round. And Kuma definitely has the goods as well. Yeah, we see more. Kuma's like current role panda, I should well, say. Camp, two well, camp, yeah. He sacks him out of the air with the foot. Oh, okay, okay, get one jab. Could have got more punish there. Scary hop kick that Claudio possesses. Oh, yeah. Nice oh. while standing too. I like it. Uh, uh. Okay. Okay. Okay, there's the Best wall. Dance. Ooh. That's the thing about the stage. Sometimes people... You can't see the wall, yeah, do it's, it's a bit... You know, I'm sure... Um, Needs more coffee. If you knew the wall was there, would have got something a little bit more up. That's why the savior stand there. That's why they're called the saviors, because they save your combo by just being in the right place. Well, you can't see the wall, they'll be there, innit? That's oh, what I'm saying. Ryan Hart with that walking dead knowledge. <laughs> I have no knowledge about the walking dead, mate. All right, so two rounds up. Yopolix working fast here. It's really jabbing him down, just poking him down. I was thinking the 1-1 one, one, or another hop kick. Okay, two that doesn't punish that, though. Okay, okay we're running two. I like it. Okay, he catches a nice conversion there. Okay, what's the mix on the hunting stance? Yes. Okay, just running knee. Probably thought that maybe the running two was coming, the obstacle for the four. four. Okay, box him against the wall. There we go, pressure. Oppression session. But the bear's out nice. there. Nice. Oh, no. Drops the combo. A bit unfortunate there. Oh, very unfortunate now. He has the starburst. What flavor yep. is this? Is he going to share it? <laughs> no, he doesn't open the packet. Oh, he opens oh. it. Oh man, that's really unfortunate. So, so many drops here. It's yeah, a bit well nervous. for Clutch and Yopalix reels back in the chair. And they're, they're talking <laughs> with each other, driving a little laugh in between the rounds here. It's nice to see. Ooh. Oh, nice. Actually, them stepping. A nice conversion here. Oh, we get the walls and they'll run into. Okay, yep, into Starburst. The Super Bowl. There you go. He's going to open a packet this time. <laughs> share it. Yep. That strawberry flavor. Yeah. I'm, yeah, I'm more of a strawberry flavor myself. Yeah, definitely, yeah. definitely. Okay, and just this oppression oh, session in the days. minute. This like, is control. Yeah, he's just controlling him, brother. Just pressing him, just holding him down, bro. That is wow. proper oppression at the wall. Even he's like, Ugh, did I just do that? He's looking a little bit lost right now. Needs more coffee. He's definitely looking a little bit flustered about that. Yeah, he, yeah. you can tell he's not comfortable. He doesn't know what to do. He doesn't, seems like he didn't really have a strategy ironed out for Claudio. Yeah. See, now, it's, what is... Escalator games. We've gone up the family escalator games. <laughs> <laughs> you know, probably people that ain't seen this venue are like, why is there escalators in here? <laughs> yeah, you know, I, I'm just I mean, it looks like we're in the middle of a shopping centre. <laughs> it does, doesn't it? It does. It's People gonna, are just, just like, hold on, there, there, there's an escalator here? I'm just going to go up to Clark's and get my DMs <laughs> for my Jack 7 cosplay. Uh, <laughs> so there we go. Jungle up, post up to stay with... Now, actually, Needs More Coffee does play a number of characters. But I guess really? He's, yeah, okay. He, he, I've seen him play Lars, I've seen him play Paul. Uh, who else have I seen play? Quite mm. a load of players, but no I guess maybe um, Puma. Yeah, it's also a question of who you've been playing, who you've been training with, who you're in shape he, with. He said he hasn't been well. playing as much, so maybe ah, okay. so it's a little bit know, like Puma is like, you know, main, so he's probably like, this is what's going to work with yeah. with. yeah, fair enough. Ooh, Ooh. okay. There okay. you go. Big one, nice. Oh, just misses the booty. Okay. Nice. That's a sick one. Oh, could have Starburst. let it rip there. Doesn't want to open the star, but this guy is coming out. Yeah, he's be greedy with it. He ain't sharing the pack. <laughs> he's being greedy. You always got one of them friends that's greedy, bro. They open a pack of sweets and not offer you one. One for two blocks. Oh, and just throws out the half. Yeah. You open it super confident here. There we go. Yeah, Joe Pick's looking like really in control. It seems like yeah. when he's pushing um, these more coffee to the wall, yeah. like the bear's got a big body, so he's finding it hard to actually get out of that situation. Yeah, the evasive maneuvers are not working for him. I think no. he could have gone for the last hit there. That's yeah. looking might in the counter here. Yeah, look like there we go, wall bounce, yeah. new mechanics. Oh, this is really, really tough. There we go. He needs more coffee right now. Some oh, no. Woke up facing the wrong way, man. Hey, okay, what he's going to do? Okay. Ah, trade, the unfortunate trade there for these more. Um, coffee and now fighting match point. Yeah, Yopalix is uh, making short work of this. Is he letting him win the round? He's holding forward there while running two into Starburst. Yeah, like it looks like he's really uncomfortable oh, there. Yeah, this is not looking good, so please go Coffee. Yeah, he's back against the wall here. Goes to the unblock, oh. we have to step that. Yeah, yeah. He, he seems unaware. like he's really in his head now. Yeah, and I think there's a few things that, you know, he's just unaware. 
unaware of versus, but, um, versus Claudio. It's probably just a little bit of rust. Like I did say, he's more coffee. As I said, he hasn't been playing as much. Mm. He's just coming down here. He's a, not a local lad, but he lives up in the like Midlands around here. So yeah, yeah. probably just coming out to support the event. Um, Shout out to him then. He definitely can play better than that. I yeah. know that for yeah, 100%, yeah, yeah. 100 percent certain. Yeah, I mean, it's hard times, man. You know, people are out here, there's killers out here, you know? People out here just doing damage, yeah. trying to mash you up. So, like, you have to come with your A game. And unfortunately, Leeds Mokov wasn't able to provide that this time. Yeah, unfortunately. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, tough so, one. Our next one match, of those though. things. One of those. those. Yeah. So, our next match we're going to have up. Ooh. It's going to be a juicy one because uh, we, I've been talking about wanting an upset. Wanting Now, this, I feel, can be potential. This is a potential. Yeah, right I, I feel you. I, I hear you on that one. Blackbeard. Blackbeard hasn't really been going in like that this year. But he has the, ca when like he has the capabilities. When he's in the zone, I'm telling you, he's the scariest player when he's in the zone. When he's feeling himself, we've seen it when he's doing the pork chop rough. Mm. And he's, when he's in the zone, mm. I think he's one of the best players. He, he even won the um, first EU regional finals. Yeah. Coming out of yeah. nowhere, all right, tall. Right. And he was just in his zone, drinking his Vimto. He had that, he had that two litre Vimto. <laughs> he said that powered him up. Vimto needs to get that guy a sponsor as well. Yeah. Just give, send him like a crate or something. So yeah, Blackbeard, he knows what it takes. Adnanish, he knows what it takes to get the W. Um, he's done it before. We've yeah. seen him do it before in this kind of scenario. Let's see if he can do it against Kokomo. Kokomo is man. no easy person. No, do. definitely. Well, Especially this year. He's, he's coming off um, a win. He got his first master win. Mm. He's always come second a lot, but it feels like now he had his breakout win. Mm. And it's probably something that's going to give him the confidence to move on yeah. and move on forward here. And he had a great performance in top eight at Osaka Challenger just very yeah. recently as well. So, yeah. And he's last stuff. year's runner up. So, you know, mm. everyone wants to beat their personal best. And if he's the last year runner up, there's only one position above that. Yes. And that's what I'm sure he's going for. He's yeah. not coming here to get second again. Mm. He's coming here for that number one spot. Yes, indeed, indeed. It's going to be good to see what Adonis can bring to the table here because he's got his workout after him, definitely. Oh, he's got the dime back tech. Oh, <laughs> I like it, okay. That dime back tech. The, I hope e he, the I hope Equinox he, tech, bro. Yeah, I hope he didn't they, borrow they it. They share trade back. secrets. <laughs> <laughs> he has his own one. All right. It's going to be interesting there to see. I'm sure Adnanish is going to be ready for this. I'm sure, I think I remember him saying that he's looking, that if, you know, people have been looking through the bracket and seeing who they're most likely to mm. play. I saw in the back of his mind, he knew that, okay, I could potentially play Kokoma here. Right, right, right. Now, it's going to be interesting to see who Kokoma's going to go with. What character is Kokoma going to pick? Because, you know, I mean, he's Kazumi. got a few characters. I'll yeah. take Kazumi. Oh, oh, okay, Geese. He's Howard. going with Geese. Oh, okay, interesting. And Adnanish, wait a second. He's having to think. Well, Adnanish does play Josie mainly, but I've seen him play other characters. He like plays Steve. other characters? Okay. He does, but I wouldn't say that. Oh, okay. Katarina. He's going for a cat. So I <laughs> Katarina. That's an interesting pick. So maybe it's something that he knows. And Spag getting behind his boy here. Yes, Spag, uh, resident Katarina player as well. Definitely. I'm, I'm sure we see Adnanish. Oh, it's so hard to call him Blackbeard. I've known him for so long. Like <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I'm even like, oh, Adnanish. Uh, All right, Blackbeard, Kokoma, yes. let's get this. Game one about to get underway, and we are going to Geese is house. We're going yeah. to his yard, his backyard. Uh, now, here. Th there's, there's a law here. Like, whenever you play this, you have to let the intro roll. You can't press start. If you press start, it's, nah, a, it's you're a, a waste, fail. man. You're it's a waste. Man. Man. <laughs> yeah, oh, we're getting yeah. London. You're a waste, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And these guys are going to listen. They're going to let it rock. All right, here we go. I mean, they put this in the game for a reason, man. <laughs> you have to let it rock. Bring it on. So let's I'll see how much. We're going to see how much knowledge Adnan has against Geese. Because Geese is one of those characters which is not. He plays Tekken, but it's not conventional. Nice Tekken. crouch there, ready for action straight away. Oh, into the full crouch low. Blackbeard. Okay. okay. Zoning him out with a Rapuken. Try to catch him stepping there. With trapping. Okay, nice pop with punish there. Okay. Oh, okay. Too. Went to go for the big damage just there. The big burst damage. I mean, that's not a bad idea. Yeah, there oh, we right, go. That, we go. That's actually really smart stuff. Get the big damage early. There he goes. Gonna, is this going to guys get the stamp? Yep. Guaranteed. A raw mail stamp. <laughs> Second <laughs> class. Top right. And that is oh, it. Yeah, nice. takes Down the first one. one. Looked like he was going to slip off the wall there, but he doesn't let him get away. Blackbeard, first round. On the tatami mats we are. Oh, Counting nice. it. Count it. Four, 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 four. Six stuff. He gets it oh, just oh, a little get the, bit late with the stomp. Doesn't get the stomp. And one, one, two punish. So he seems to be keeping going him for that. pressured up against the wall now. Goes for the tracking move again. Oh, down for two, a tracking move of his own. It seems that like Ananis is going for that while standing launcher a lot. Maybe it's something mm. that crouches oh, up. Oh, oh nice. Sides him into hop kick. That's very precise hop kick there. Or hope kick, as Stacey Steve says. He wasn't hoping that. He knew oh, let that rip. No, but here we that go. was guaranteed, yeah. Uh, uh, this is going to go to the wall. Nah, Geese always fights. Yeah, this is going to be it. 
yeah. you know, of course Geese is going to find the wall. This is his <laughs> estate, bro. This is his place. Yeah, he, he, know, know, he made those up. walls. He created you know? them. He put one exactly he there. He put three of them for that combo. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, he definitely, he's put three walls there. He's going to find all of them. Ooh. Slightly off axis there for that punish. He doesn't duck the second hit of that. Here we go. Back 3-2. Going to go towards the wall. He gets the wall. Uh -huh. Jay came to the wall. Uh, big damage. Go for the single Rapukin, what's up, Okazemi? Oh man, sidestep three counter here. There we go. Stand up. Stand up and get back down on pressure, man. Went for the war running one. Blackbeard just about blocked that. And he gets, oh. yeah, blocks the low sweep there. Nice punish. Seems like Kakoma is ready. Two, one. But Atlas does have a game on the board. It's only he's capable of getting the, the round. I can, you can see Blackbeard trying to play fairly safe as well, not, you know, not always doing anything super risky. Yeah, nice so low again. Sweep. Just look at that count hit four. Learn to let He's it run. Hunting for it hard. Yeah, man, that's four in a row. <laughs> well, you got to do four, 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 four. Okay, just really just poke oh, away. And there's one. Finally gets it to hit. Drop the enough combo. damage on it though. There's a break. He doesn't duck the second hit of that. Oh man, what did he press? There you go. He's gonna break the wall. Yes. Yeah. You know, and then he does have rage. He spends it. What's the mix up? Oh, gets the side step. Could have been hot kick. Yeah, it could have. Sure. Goes for, oh, oh yeah. Kokoma was ready for that. He ducked. He's ready for he to block that. But saw it with him yes. while standing for. That was really, really unfortunate. That's Black, Blackbeard had a quite good start as well. That game. So it's gonna be interesting to see what um, Blackbeard does now. Is he gonna stick with Katarina or is he gonna go back to main Bay? You know, you have to always go back to Bay sometimes. Man. I mean, if you're more seasoned with Bay, pick Bay. I know, man. You know, yeah. the good girl that always has your back. You have to go yeah, back to her yeah. sometimes, man. No. Not gonna get into that though. Yep. So Looking over to Spag there, getting some uh, but okay. getting some encouragement from Spag. He so nods his head. This is interesting. He's sticking with Katarina here. So this, it, there must be a precise reason as to why. There must be something. There must be an anti geese thing involved here. Why Katarina's a better pick than Josie for this yeah. situation. Well, he seems to have confidence in himself to go back in. I mean, it. you know, it, it wasn't a bad match per se. Like no, no, he had it a lot wasn't. Of, he, got, he was getting in with some good sweeps, you know, some good full crouch sweeps, um, some good hop kicks as well. But, like, there was something missing in, in the middle of that game. So, some of the things where he had um, opportunities where he wasn't, like, so, like, like when he had the side step, he didn't mm. use the hop kick. Maybe mm. it's that um, character on familiarity. Like, you know, you probably possible. have to think. It's that little lag in your brain. I mean, you come only with something really s small. Yeah. So it was a hard whiff on it. Yeah. It would have been a guess. But, you know, if. Oh, wow. Oh, that starts off with a big count. Hit. Speaking of good guesses, that was yeah. a great start there. Yeah, gets the wall, gets the stamp, yep. Yeah. Wasn't the, um, low enough to get the... Look at that. Great yeah. control from Blackbeard so far. And we go to the other wall. Uh-oh, he's at the wall now. Kokoma. Oh, this time. Oh, yes. Blackbeard looking really good that Maybe round. it's because um, Geese pressures a lot with jabs, so maybe her full cross sweep actually goes underneath. Yeah, maybe. maybe. Like and that. Magic 4 and Hot Kick, it's good yeah. for all that. Yeah, all those moves are good for yeah, Maybe. All yeah. options there. Okay, nice, catches yep. him out of the air. Float indeed, float, float, float. Okay, and then he's finding his zone finally, because when he's in his zone, he's one of the scariest players to play against. He knows how to deal with freshman ball, he's been oh, on the stage no. long. Down for two walls for that. Rep, you can follow up. Oh, another one, that, that might even be it. Yep, he goes for the double, okay. Yeah. Magic picks. Oh, that was so unfortunate, he kind of just got stuck and pinned against the wall there, and that's yeah. the end of that round. He goes for low, oh, he doesn't get a full punish on that. He goes back with you. Let's it rip this time. Goes to into max mode. Look at that. Here we go. He's ready with the hop kick. Yeah. Funny angle on the combo, though. I like it. Ooh, okay. We're going back. Blocks alone. Oh, punish them. Oh, nice. Hop, hop kick, kick again. He goes yeah, to the big combo. Getting all the damage now. Fortunate so, drop there. 1 1. Okay. Yeah. Down for those long legs and Lubatons yes. and heels, mate. Blackbeard switching it up here. Nice. Made it, uh, Look what? at this. Okay. I like the adaption here from Blackbeard. And he's managing to stop everything that Kokoma tries to dish out. Go to that low. Ooh, oh, that's that's step again. Hop kick. And what is going on? And that's what I'm telling you. When he's completely is downloaded Kokoma here. When he's in his the zone, second game. he's the scariest player to play, I'm telling you. What's happening? Kokoma has been just walking backwards. Kokoma has been completely. Oh my God. Who does that? Kokoma has been completely shut down in the second game. Absolute domination from Blackbeard, who did not let Kokoma do anything. Yeah, he, he after had that the first end. round. He was actually just holding back, walking back. You don't see that much. That was insane. That was the that was the fastest download.
that was the most that was the fastest download like fiber optic BTR. Wow, that yeah, was in, that was incredible, that incredible. Business Every line. low got low parried. Now Every time he pressed the button, it got magic forward. Like that was just ridiculous. So this is how I say. Now this is gonna be interesting because Kokoma won the first game. He has the option now to select a character yes. to maybe counter change the like, character, change yeah. the stage. Maybe yeah, he's got some options now. He's got some options. Sook. And Asim is Asim, over there as yeah. well. These boys want to bring a win home. They want to bring a victory home for the UK. Spag in his corner. Asim in his corner. Everyone helping out here. Words of encouragement, no doubt. From District G's very own Asim. Asim. He's also in the tournament as yes, well. Yes, he is. And we've got a character change to Dragonov. Is this going to be the victory character? Let's find out. Let's definitely find out. Katarina definitely looked like a bit of a wall there. Everything got whiff punished with hop kick. And that was just... I'm just trying oh to think man. about this match now. If the wild run in two, if Adnanis has a good read on it and gets to the count hit four, when a Dragon's trying to approach it, could right. be quite... Could work in Blackbeard's favour. Could. It could indeed. But could I'm indeed. sure Let's Koma has plans in his head as to why he picked the Dragon over this match. All right. Slightly like more aggressive start here. For Koma. Very aggressive. Doesn't want to let any conditioning happen. Yeah, he ran up. He's probably expecting a, a magic four there. Yeah. He ran up. Magic four there. I mean, the danger of Blackbeard's uh, Katarina is once he starts controlling things, once he gets started, once he starts controlling the, the, the momentum of the round, and this is what Kokoma is trying to negate by playing more offensively. Yeah. You see, this is what he doesn't want to let anything get started on Blackbeard's side. So, so the down two is going down two. He's got the lead now. He's got a round, so he's calmed down a little bit. Look, he's just he's just walking in and punishing now. There you go. No Bar break fight. on, no one plus two break. Down two again. Okay, nice patience yeah. there from Blackbeard. Good patience indeed. Okay, catch him to the other wall. Okay, nice break there from Kokoma. That throw with a wall splatter down. Okay, like it. Oh, no punish on him. He's got a while standing for. He jabs him out. Oh, nice oh, side step. That could have been a hop kick, man. Oh, oh, here we go. And oh. goes to the low again. Go to going to Oh! And it is 1-1. Kokoma there. thought Blackbeard was going to go for a low there, but he didn't. He went mid, and there's a hot kick to screw it out. Whenever I see the slow motions, I, I, I get nervous. Yeah, you know what can happen. Wow. <laughs> this is domination this round from Kokoma. Yeah, but his back against the wall needs to be very careful. Kokoma. Indeed, there's a punish. Oh, 1-1, one, one, a weak punish at that. But Blackbeard's yeah. still alive. Oh, throw break. Okay, has the rage. Oh, oh, set point to Kokoma. Using those plus rays, those positive vibes, just keeping Katrina there. Are we going to get a final round? I would like to see a final round here. Nice Black punish from the low. Blackbeard, tell me we're going to get a final round here. Oh, well, standing two, no dice though. Uh, it seems like he's making too many like hard Kokoma. reads now. And that's going to be probably yet. Oh, yeah. oh and that is it. Seven golden letters. So unfortunate. You can see Blackbeard. <laughs> oh, man, that was very unfortunate. Such a good set from Blackbeard. Really good performance. But that last game yeah. was 120% for Koma. That yeah. dragon off pick was so effective. Yeah. So, so effective. It seemed like as well, I managed towards the end, was, he's kind of just going for the big moves there. Yeah, he wasn't yeah. really poking out. He's like, I need this low, big lock, and I need this big mid. Yeah, I, I need the juggle damage. Yeah. I need to take half life now. And it just put him further and further down the rabbit hole. Yeah, that was uh, unfortunate there. Yeah, it's a shame. Um, great second game from him, though. Yeah. Great second game, great download. You know, I of Geese Howard. I like the approach against Geese. Like you were saying, you know, we, we didn't know why he was sticking with Katarina, but clearly there was he, a game there plan. Was a mic, yeah, there, there, was a, there was a solid so game plan there. I said before, he, he knew, he, I remember him saying, he was looking through the bracket and saying, okay, I'm most likely run, to run into Kokoma. Let me keep this in the back of my mind. Mm. And then he's obviously he came up with a game plan. Yes. It didn't work the first game. You know, you sat, sat back and probably thought, okay, I didn't execute this well. What mm. I thought would happen didn't happen. Let yeah. me make an adjustment now yeah, again. Yeah. And the adjustment was perfect. Yeah, no, it was brilliant. I mean, we saw things like Kokoma, when he was approaching the match with Geese in that second game. Yeah. Because of that first game, Adnan had a lot of reads he could go with. Exactly. He had a lot of reads he was prepared to deal out straight away. And if we're talking about Katarina, it's big damage, man. If you eat the counter hit fours and Ooh. the hop kicks, it's massive. Each read is like a third or maybe half your life. Yeah. And when everything goes your way, it, it, it just becomes a steamroll because you lose energy so quickly and you just and it, you see him desperate you saw Kokoma desperate for lows going for low jabs down threes and everything was getting low parried at the end everything was he wasn't giving me any breathing space at all and I think Dragonov is harder to play that same game plan with because Dragonov can kind of do a bit of that as well yeah. and his lows aren't the same as Geese's where he's only going to do them super up close down two for example has a little bit of range you can do it at kind of a yeah, bit yeah, a little bit of space away so it's one of them things where then 
you're also under threat that he might do while running two as well. Oh, yeah. So down two. You see that many while running two. He didn't think about well, it. Yeah. He, he, you always know it's available. Yeah. And he kind of used the threat of while running two this to rinse down two. This is one thing I've been saying a lot about. Sometimes it's not even just someone doing the move. It's just knowing that. It's the threat that you know he knows he can, yeah. he can do it. And what, sometimes that's the best way to condition your opponent by the no mix up mix up. Yeah, you I know. know. So I'm looking at, oh, okay. So we got our next match up here. Uh-huh, Dinosaur. Versus Light Zoo. Man Light Dinosaur. Man Light Dinosaur. Wow. I, one of my personal, I don't like to say it, he's one of my personal favorite players out here. So yeah, so um, Dino, um, yeah, Light Zoo in the Germany crew, you know, he came here with uh, Dritten Rama and Sabri Dabri. They, yeah. they came over here together. Big shout out for them to coming yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, coming all the way out. Uh, versus Dinosaur, one of the home favorites here. You know, Dinosaur, a very stellar performer from years previous in yes. every Tekken game. Like I even mean, coming into the scene, it was like Dinosaur was that guy, like whenever you just needed to know, he's like an encyclopedia, I swear. He's he like, like an encyclopedia. You just ask him, uh, what do I do in this situation? He would come up with we'll like, have the answer. Bro, he's like, even if it's a character Jeeves. you didn't even see him play, he'll, know, he'll know what the frames are. Like, oh, do this, 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 that, <laughs> do this move. I'm telling you, this guy was the Tekken encyclopedia. He still is. And you saw him with an impressive and win early on against Ru Kang. That match was probably one of my highlights as well of the mm -hmm. tournament. That was a really good match. He had the read. Yeah. That's something Dinosaur. Solid. He's, yeah, he's, he's, he's a solid, solid player. Yeah, yeah he's, he's definitely solid player. one of the most solid players out there. Doesn't take that many risks. Mm. He knows when to press the buttons. Yeah. Has a clean brand. One of the cleanest brands. Yes. Yeah. Next to Mr. Naps. Obviously. Great, great to see him, uh, see him here representing today. Yeah. And, Top um, you know, as especially well. as there aren't that many players, you know, just kind of like remembering my time when <laughs> I was there playing. But there's not many, many players that still play from that era, you know, yeah. who are still active, who are still strong. And it's great to see Dinosaur up here. No star scream. Shout yeah. out to Starscream, yeah, not here. Charles, yeah, but yeah, but Dinosaur here looking to do some damage here. And it's going to be UK versus Germany. And um, I'm looking forward to this one. I'm definitely looking forward. I, I always look forward to when I see Dinosaur play. Mm. One, one of my favorite players. Oh, yeah, 100%. Definitely 100%. one of my favorite. Like I said, long time player. Has yeah. the fundamentals, has the knowledge. So we shall see. With a little cameo. <laughs> 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 okay, well, what um, is going well, on? Yeah, yeah but oh, uh, it's giving him his phone. Oh, He's like, I'm going to WhatsApp you in the match, yeah? <laughs> Make sure you check the messages. <laughs> Give you some tips, blood. <laughs> There you go. Oh Did man. they? Is they that band that one like Evo or something like? We what happened? Like coaching or something on the on the phone. Oh yeah, someone was like giving him notes on the phone. Oh, I remember. I think it was a Street Fighter like game. I think it was yeah. a Street Fighter match. Yeah, where basically a guy was in the tournament and someone in the crowd because coaching wasn't banned. Oh, yeah. so the coach was in the crowd sending the tips by WhatsApp <laughs> on the phone. To bend these rules, man. Shout out to illegal coaching. <laughs> <laughs> I think pressing the PS button is the best one though. <laughs> we're, not getting, we're not getting into that. <laughs> I heard about all them dramas. We're not oh, I'm not even that. talking about Evo. I'm talking <laughs> about like here, oh. where, where you have your friend in the crowd to press it. This is like <laughs> a thing that people were talking about. <laughs> so, um, yeah, but that's never happening ever again. <laughs> so, here we go. Game one about to get underway. Miguel versus Brian Fury. Ooh, wow. Miguel. Mm. I haven't seen, well, normally when you see Sefi, it's really associated yeah, with Sefi. Sefi and Miguel. Uh, lacking it, uh, la well, not here this tournament. No, unfortunately. So, this is the German Miguel for this tournament, I guess. Yeah. I like Miguel. He's, he's, he's a hype. Yeah, he's a <laughs> hype. Man. But got Brian Dinosaur. I know Brian Dinosaur who have played Asim's um, Miguel a lot, many yeah, a times in Tekken 6. Light 2. That used to be like the, the monthly grand final Asim yep. Dinosaur. Okay. okay. Positive vibes here using the plus frames. Ooh. Now for 1 1 2 confirm. Ooh, just oh, that, 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 is here. that is a rude slap. <laughs> that is rude. That's like a shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Your points are not valid in this argument. <laughs> okay, very patient. Try to get the counter hit for. Okay, that's what being Okay, mm. nice. I like Ow, the patient. Catch four three counter yeah. hit. Catch the counter hit of his own. This is going to be the round. Yeah, that's it. All she wrote. I like that dinosaur making the adaptions, knowing that he got kind of hit there before, just being a little bit more extra patient. That's what I'm saying. Tech, um, tech and time is so important there. He's able to just to wait. That's very great. Okay, goes to the plus range, positive vibes. Okay, Max Ooh. blocking the lock. Okay, dashes up. Knew it was his turn to press buttons. I've just been very patient again. Super patient. Yeah, Miguel's just one of those characters really going to use a downfall one. Oh, and what a low parry. Dinosaur hadn't pressed the button for like 10 seconds and the first thing gets low parry. Yeah, but it just didn't capitalize on that. Just no. Like, no damage. Oh, wow. Rabbit punched the Adriano. Stopping him in his tracks. Dinosaur trying oh. to find a way in. Yes, go. all three counter again. We're going to go downstairs. Okay, no, off to keep out the wall. Well, Brian's a beast at the wall, so why oh. not? Oh, yeah, that's going to be it. Uh, yeah, 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 that's definitely going to be it. Downstairs. Yeah. downstairs. Goes to the kangaroo punch, two fists. So we go one round apiece. Lights on the board. Nice duck. 
And again, so Dinosaur was actually dropping that combo earlier mm. on. You should go for maybe something a little bit uh, easier. Maybe just the back 2-1. Okay. Keep it nice and simple. Yep. They get saved. Oh! oh okay. okay, so this time goes to the top straight away. Are you oh, going to go to the wall? Not yet. Just drop short and uh, yes. And that, yep. that low closes it out. Yeah, the down 3 plus 4. Oh. Cameo okay. from the share button. <laughs> put his, wants to put that victory Told on you, man. You gotta watch out. You gotta disconnect them pads. <laughs> Down forward. Oh, oh wow! Straight box against the shutter. Sick read there. Go to the wall. We're gonna go downstairs. Oh no! Obviously no. keep at the wall. Life set opens at me. <laughs> that starts is gangster, man. I'm telling you. Okay, one, two. Just jamming him out. Look at this pressure. Go oh, to the wow. savage stance. Low here. Ties it up. Two rounds each here. That was really aggressive there from Lance. You're so not able to keep up with the aggression there. Here we go. Cancels it. The down forward one. Mm. Oh, oh, again! And he's I'm sure Seppi Black's watching on with a big smile on his face right now. He's he likes what he sees. He has a great read on these. Wow, wow. and now we go downstairs. Okay, rabbit punch. And here we go. More damage on top. That is a lot of damage. Nice throw break. Yes. Yep. Yeah. We're going to break another one. one. Get some wall positioning though. Oh, back one. Here we go. Plus frames. Oh my goodness. So this hey. is getting really dangerous. Has been available. Just stay oh, in that start. It's so intimidating. There. The stare down. So, what are you going to do, bro? Oh, low. Oh. Low again. Oh. oh. I thought he was going to do a hatchet kick again. Oh, I thought he was going to do three days. in a row. Yeah, he might have done it. I thought, he, I thought, he, I thought, he, I thought uh, Miguel was going to go for like a delayed hop or something. Because that would have worked as well. Ooh, well that that would have been, been six take that the game. A message to send as well. Like, <laughs> what, blood? Delayed Doing hop loads. Kick. Yeah, I got something for you. Not even just the hop kick. I'm going to hit you with the delayed one. Oh, man. That would have been really sick. Okay, Jungle out of post two. Close yeah, game. That was definitely close. That was that really, was, that was really, really close. back and forth. Yeah. Mm, Lightsu nodding his head. He's going to make some adaptations right now. Yeah, just right probably now. just needs to make a few minor adjustments here yeah. and there. Yeah, he had some great reads on, um, yeah, he was getting on the Dinosaur's count. timing, getting the counter count hits, hit. getting that big damage from those as well. I think that, that counter hit so fast. I want to get into the frames. I think it's like 11 frames. It's possibly really possibly slight. Yeah, definitely. Um, I was just going to say the Lightsu is possibly slightly Jeez. lacking in the follow-up department. We'll yes. get the combo, we'll have to read. But then when he needs to move in for extra damage, I think Dinosaur's experience comes through there. He needs yeah. to make that work out for him if he wants to win this. Does Lightsu. Nice block on the low there. Dinosaur, not often you see Dinosaur really blocking the lows, but you take that big count hit. Now this is going to go to all Brian finds the wall now. This is where Brian is a beast with the taunt stuff. Oh, oh. yeah, jet upper, guaranteed yep. here. That's going to be the round. Back for Jabba, another way we see uh, Brian get that massive wall damage on this. Yeah, wall guaranteed. There's so much damage. That's why Brian is a beast of the wall. Once you hit that back four, it's basically game Ow. over. Okay, we just backing up. Black so trying to find the opening. Who's in the down forward one? Trying to get that counter hit again. Probably something that Dinosaur's going to cotton on to, knowing that he's going for these counter hits. Probably a one too many. Okay, nice jab. Ow. Ooh, big count here. This, yeah, this is going to be the round. Yeah, Get to the all over. Well. Dinosaur, one more round here. Then he needs to take this. Yeah, he's looking very comfortable now. Looks like Dinosaur settled in and found yeah, Lightsu's Yeah, he's relaxed rhythm. now, isn't it? Probably Lightsu needs to probably change up his time a bit more. I know. Big kind of sweet. He's block. calmed down a lot of that initial momentum that Lightsu had. Yeah, Dinosaur known for seeing those sweeps. Here we go. What's the tour mix up? Ooh, went for the tour back four. Ooh. Wow. That Mac breaker. Yep. 4-4-2. Four, four, loosening, loosening those teeth. <laughs> <laughs> That's oh, definitely taking about a few front teeth up. Nice punch in the chicken punches. Down forward, one, one, one. Oh, and another hatchet kick. One more here for Dinosaur. Okay, guys. Look at Kung Goes to the back, back four. That used to be the, the classic Tekken 6 ender from him. But I like the patience here. Just dashing up. Not pressing the button. Now Dinosaur is going to wait for that bus. He's still waiting. Oh, oh that's a no great break. Oh, okay. Very uncharacteristic there from Dinosaur. Good. Oh my god, Dark oh, Down 4. That was so unfortunate. Light 2 falls to Dinosaur 2, gains to 0 here. That was really, really unfortunate. He had such an opening there. When Dino didn't get the break on the throw, that was a lifeline. Yeah, that, that was a chance to steal around. It's, something, it's so uncharacteristic. That's something that you don't really see from Dinosaur. Dinosaur is known for really breaking throw. I remember from way back, this guy was breaking throw from before we even know him. <laughs> I mean, I think one of the things there is, because it was so tense, because Dinosaur probably had a million and one things yeah, in his mind, in his head. the throw was, yeah. the, was one, one thing he wasn't prepared for. Yeah. Um, and that happens quite a lot. But yeah, shout out to Dinosaur. Still held it down, managed to clutch it out there and uh, take the W. 2-0. Yeah, really, really good stuff. Dinosaur was a great showing, actually. Does that mean he's in top 
32, maybe? I think he's in top 32 now. I yeah. need my abacus to wear so. that kind of stuff. But, <laughs> trust me. Just sit here. <laughs> <and> sit. <laughs> it, this stage, you know, them so, tens yeah. and units and stuff. I ain't done that for years. So, yeah, that good stuff from Dinosaur um, representing the UK. Really, really Yeah, sick. man, representing the, the, I don't want to say it, but the, the old school, man. <laughs> We've got Art of Ace. <laughs> Yeah, all the from way from the Netherlands, Netherlands here, yeah. going up against Kane and Kane Trench. Kane and Trench. Now, this is that fresh you know, guy that I remember Starscream said ages ago. He's like, this guy, there's something about him. Mm. That like, this guy's the future. Really? Yeah. Wow. He actually called it from before. Wow. All that happened is like, this guy. He had the foresight, you yeah, could tell, he, yeah. He could tell. He said, he said there was something different about Kane and Trench. Like, mm. he knows everyone's good in the UK scene, everyone can play, but he said, there's just something a little bit different about this kid. Mm. The, way, the way he his reaction to things, his right. attitude about things, and it's paid off. You see, when Tekken 7 came out, Kane and Trent was dominating mm. Europe with that Yoshi play. He was definitely putting people in body bags. Bro, bro. he was taking them, carrying them to the gravesite, burying them, doing the whole <laughs> funeral <laughs> service, everything, bro. He was doing everything. I got a few invites from him, you know, like, you know, we are gathered here today. He was like, you want to come and see this funeral? I was like, oh, I'm busy, man. He sent me the invites, bro. Just but yeah, Kane and Trench, um, out of base, though, no slouch in his own right. Very, very good player from the Netherlands. And, yeah, um, yeah, this is going to be an interesting one. I wonder if we're going to see Brian or Steve, because he has a couple of characters that does out of base. Yeah. And um, yeah, he's very proficient with both of them. So this is going to be a good one. Yoshimitsu, I feel like Steve would be the go-to character, but I've seen what Kane and Trench does to a lot of Steve players. I've seen what Kane and Trench does to everyone, with, man. With, with the way he can time flashes to interrupt oh, streams and stuff. See, like now, he's so now, good at that. Now, saying that, talking about Flash, you just brought up a whole other conversation. <laughs> Kane and Trench is well known for knowing like strings that you can punish with Flash. Because there's certain strings that maybe, if you do like your jab string, it's, it's, it's safe to everyone else, but he will know that, okay, I can punish this now in between. with the Flash. And yes. trust me, he knows. Exactly. Dude, do not, I'm, I'm telling you now, do not test Kane and Trench on Flash knowledge. This guy is he will, he will, he will, he will he know. He will hurt you. He will know. He, he knows specific character things with Yoshi. Mm. He's such a specialist yep. with Yoshimitsu. Yep. I mean, that's what it takes because Yoshi is not a pick up and play character. No. He's someone that requires a lot of dedication and hard work. Yeah, got to and over time, you kind of learn what all the other ki what, where Yoshi can shine in certain yeah. matchups. So here we go. We're going to have Kane and Trench versus Art of Ace. Looks like he's going with Steve. Interesting. So we're going to see what Kane and Trench can do. But I'm, I'm, I'm not sure that maybe some of that flicker stance looks a bit dodgy. <laughs> um, I don't know. It looks a bit dodgy when you have the flash option available. Yeah. But here we yeah. go. All right. Ooh. Okay, just starting off. Oh, see, even for a flash, flash there, another again. one. Two in a row. Probably just showing um, Art of Ace that I have this flash. You need to be careful. <laughs> you can't get too aggressive. I mean, it's a yeah. really useful tool against Steve. He's yeah. pinned up against the wall right now. Okay, Ooh, and there's flash. the flash. Here we go. Into the race drive. Big damage combo here. Look at the red on that. Yeah, he gets a double tail spin oh, head. Nice. And our base is out of there straight away. Uses the wild stand 1 1. New string for Tekken 7 for Steve. Yep. Into Pikachu. Okay, here we go. Right. Starts around with a big sweep. Can't hit. I guess that actually low crushes, so that could maybe a, a decent Quite good. Option. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Oh, oh wow. Straight Jack Razor. Razor. You mm. never get used to seeing that. Telling so you. deadly. Goes to the rocket launcher after. Yeah. Save cast frames. He jumps out. What? Disrespect. Here we go. Oh, 4 4 2. Tries to get the second one. Okay, oh. Rage Hive. Yeah. Kane Trench, no block spending so. that. Oh, whilst well, I want to punish. He was waiting to block that all day. Yes. That's all day. He had to read. He was confident. That's the European get up while standing free. Guaranteed, bro. The European get up. I like that. Oh, oh man. man, the Joe Frazier. Oh, yeah. man, the dentist preferred option. Yeah, I know. That's he has to go private Ooh. healthcare for that. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Just like that. That was a beating. Just like that. That was a beating. That's that you missed that curfew beating where it came right, home half came an home hour late. What? Try hide under <laughs> the bed. <laughs> Get pulled out by your leg, right? <laughs> no, that was massacre. All right, Art of Ace looking really solid here. And Kalen Trench is thinking about some adaptation. Definitely. Yeah, he's definitely a player. Well, he's seen it. He's made the World Tour Finals the first. Yeah. No, actually, two years, actually. Mm -hmm. He made it when he beat um, CBM. That I, time. I feel like in that game, he was too steadfast with trying to start something. Yeah. He needed to be more patient, play the spacing game, because Art of Ace, you know, Steve players in general, they don't fear. They're going to do back one oh, when they think you're going to press a button. Uh -huh. Like, you know, you can't give them the read on you that easily. You have to make them... You have to make them work yeah, for the back ones. I'm you know? telling you, man. And I, I feel like he gave away, like you know, he gave away so much free damage by running into uh, back ones. I'm telling you, really if I had early a back one like that, I would fear no one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you from now. There we go. Gets the trade. He's going for it again. Another back one then. Nice guy. Gets a combo. Here we go. He gets the rear line. He's gonna go to the wall. Has the raid. Oh, one, one, two. That's guaranteed off that throw. Goes to the flash. Yeah. Oh, he's just being very patient. Knew he had the life. He yeah. had all day. 
And he had pressured Kane and Trench enough that he knew that Kane and Trench would probably go for the flash because he needed it. Yeah. And he blocked it and punished. Great stuff. Wow. Big box again. Is he? This is what I'm talking about, man. You can't give him those two easily. Seems like he just knows he's not he's great timing for yeah. when Kane and Trench. Well, I again, just as I said, this is like... I mean, you have to do strings that can't be interrupted with back one once they hit. Because this is all that's lo this is all that's taking damage. Right now. Yeah. Okay. And this could potentially be it. Yeah. This is gonna be the round. Didn't even go for the rage on. Wow. Just straight massage. He's sending he the is, message. He this is, is confident right now. Five rounds straight. Are we gonna see a double no round round? Oh, okay. The great punish there from Kane and Trench. Okay. And I've seen Kane and Trench come back from worse than this. Yeah. So he does have the goods to do this. Yeah. Definitely can't count. Can't count him out. Nice back two two. Mm -hmm. Oh, look oh. at that. Working on a perfect, yeah, and he gets what it. What a way to answer back, isn't it? That is a perfect way. Return no pun to intended. Re return to sender, boy. I know. <laughs> and that is we've punished Sonic Frank there. Oh, okay. and another back one. And this move has just completely blown him up. Yeah, and he's put him against the wall where it seems like Kane and Trench is struggling yeah. Yeah. to the get out. Oh, okay, nice, nice. No parry. No yes. parry. That was excellent. Okay, trying to carry himself away from the wall. Takes mm -hmm. Steve Follows to the wall, upset. Ooh. Okay, avoiding the puddle. Okay, what's it? Okay, Zemi. I like that. Very patient. Oh, oh, face. Yeah, the break. Is it back one? Back on time. Oh, we went for the flash there. Oh, okay, no. Down back to the two. Oh, one more hit. Oh, oh okay, gets the count. It's not over yet. European get up. Did he dash up his time? Okay, he yeah. gets it. Okay, so he's going to have another chance at taking the round here. He's going to have to guess one more time. What's he, he going to do? take this. <gasps> oh, okay. Sweep. He bet it the all, bro. Sweet, yeah. He put a stack on right. That was a hard read because that, of look how far back he did it. Yeah. That was he didn't see that Steven press buttons. That was just the hardest of reads. He's still alive here. Kane and Trent. No, and again another wow. can't hit back. What, what is going he, on? But why did he press a button after whipping that? I don't understand why he's getting hit by so many back yeah, ones. He's pressing buttons a lot, a lot. Definitely at the wrong time. Yeah. All right. Out of base now. Looking to close this one here. If our base wins this, it's going to be off a counter hit back one combo. Let's call it from now. Uh oh. You might go. be right. You might also not need it though. No, no. Our base takes it just like that. Six rounds to one. And he's made short work of Kane and yeah, Trench here. That was very impressive. Mm. Very, very impressive. I feel like Kane and Trench probably went to flash one too many times. Yes. I don't think he got really that much of success in the open with the flash there. Mm. Bit unfortunate there. He got one flash really early, but yeah. after that, Art of Ace just negated all of them. He managed yeah. to play a style that wasn't easy for Kane and Trench to get it around. It forced him to think that I'm going to be aggressive, and it forced Kane and Trench into making these decisions. Yes, and then it just made him predictable, yeah. you know, rather than it being a smart read. So, very, very nice stuff by Art of Ace. Really, really good stuff. Um, yeah, I, I, I haven't seen much of him uh, this tournament. No, I haven't actually. I think that's the looking, first time I've actually seen him on. But he's looking really good. Oh, yeah, definitely. Really well, really he's good. in top 64, probably moving on to top 32. Yeah. Yeah, so. Great, great stuff. The, the Netherlands stand up. Stand yes. Up. So, oh, this is going to be an interesting one because I heard rumors that the streamer really asking for this guy. Yeah? Mirio, yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. Versus uh, um, Fergus. another Versus stream, Fergus. probably favorite. Probably stream chat's blowing up right now. <laughs> Fergus, man. We saw Fergus play earlier on, Asuka, mm. uh, but has a plethora of many, many, many oh, characters, yeah. man. He dabbles with that. I see he's got a little bit of a Julia going on yeah. as well. I want to see some Julia. I can see Julia today, actually. True. true. I haven't actually seen a Julia today. I would mm. like to see her. Where's Bode? He's not in the tournament. No, I haven't seen Bode, actually. Yeah. I haven't actually seen him in a while. Shout out to Bode. Shout out to the Italian team. I haven't seen Harry Potter here either. No, nah, he's not here. Yeah. I think only a few Italians came out this time. I yeah, think I see Devil Kazuya. Like Devil Kazuya, uh, Ricky uh, Maru. Oh, Ricky Maru. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think not many of them came out this time. Um, and someone else as well. I can't remember right no. Tissue. But yeah, it's a small <laughs> oh, well, Yeah, I mean, nah. yeah. Maybe <laughs> if you want to include this one, <laughs> Tishman as well. Oh, Galanda. Um, I mean, I mean, oh, yeah, Galanda, that was it. Yeah, yeah. And then if you want to say Tishman, might as well say the Phantom as well. You know, if you're going on like that, might as well bring Mans in. <laughs> so here we go. He's praying to the gods right now. He's praying. He's getting that Ganesha blessing right now, bro. <laughs> Let's go. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm, I'm Vi gonna, I'm Violet Cappers. Yeah, I'm going to guess he's a lead player. Violet, Vi sorry. Violet Cappers, bro. So, Fergus probably going to go with Asuka. Okay, yeah, he's going to go straight Violet. to the Violet. That's going to be an interesting match. I know, actually, um, Fergus does have good experience with um, Lee. He actually does play Lee. 
That delayed handshake. You can have a normal handshake and there's a delayed handshake. You know what I'm saying? It's like wake up. <laughs> a delayed, delayed wake up, yeah, on a handshake. I like it. All right, here we go. I think Violet and Dudley should start a company of selling roses, throwing roses at people. <laughs> That'd be cool. Oh, yeah, All right. yeah, I forgot about here that. Here we go. So we go in Violet Systems, settings mm -hmm. perfect right now. <laughs> Isn't it? Perfect <laughs> settings. So here we go. Violet versus Asuka, Burgers versus Miru, let's go. Ooh. Okay, up forward three, starting out strong here, super aggressive. He's gonna go towards the wall, take it. Four piece, Look at that, chips. he's making him start with a, th with a third of his life left. He starts the round. Oh, oh man. Straight put the head to the Sick. ground. Oh man, that oh. was a beat down. I'm telling you, Fergus looking strong. Fergus, yeah. I think last year didn't do as well at versus fight. And so I know mm. that he wants to get these so points. So this means something for Yeah, him. definitely yeah. means something to him. Yeah. He's, he's been a finalist twice in a row. Like, right. he wants these points. Here we down go. Three. Four, okay, yep. down four, three. Ooh, two fairy. Ooh. Looking to make quick work right here, but whilst I'm, okay, oh, nice. Oh, and the two launches him. Yeah, there we go, I'm just gonna go to the wall, Fergus. I'm not gonna drop this, Fergus making quick work, two rounds up. Yeah, he's, he's uh, starting out strong here. Okay, just back dashing out. Okay, just playing very patient, dropping him down, going for those lows. Try to get a counter hit there. Okay, oh. this time ducks, doesn't go for the high. Wow. Oh, big can't hit launch. This is going to definitely go to the wall. Here we go. He's going to go for. Okay, it's three piece this time. Oh, my days. This is not looking good for Mirio so far. Infinity kicks. Shades of Ogre. Uh -huh. Nice. Oh, four, man. four, 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 three. Four. Okay, nice uh -oh. block on the low. Oh. And oh, gets it this time. He and he makes them. Yes. Finally, Mirio gets around. Probably something that's going to settle him. Looking a, was looking a little bit nervous. But you know, like I said, Tekken is a momentum based game. Indeed, it is. Down three. Oh, no. what a way to punish with the four that two. That was so clean. Fergus, super ready. Go to the wall. There you go, four piece, extra chips. Indeed. Want a soda? Oh, my days. Let's get oh. that oh, my God. That's a pressure right oh, there. Oh, man. She got put down, bro. And he's already, look at that. He is grinning oh, ear to oh, ear. He yeah. knows. That, that was a beat down. <laughs> that was everything wall splattered there. Just everything yeah. went Fergus's way. Fergus just had the reads. Yeah, and Fergus opted for a very aggressive game style that game. I've never seen him just go in like that. Oh, he's smart, probably smart like blood in the water and thought, you know what? Let's just get this over. Let's just get this over with. You know, I want that top 42. I want to come back tomorrow. Poor Mirio, not getting any respect. <laughs> <laughs> but respect, they say, has to be earned, earned especially yeah. in warfare. So here we go. They go option to go for those slides. Two slides in a row. Yeah, we didn't see many of the slides in the first game. No. Something you maybe have forgotten about and he's uh, remembered. Probably because something that just spoke down to oh, him another so one. Much. Uh, three down twos in a row. Just checking the dome. Here we go. Go side mid, one plus two. And this should be the round if he finds the wall. Yep, finds the wall. Here we go. That's Four gonna be, yeah, yeah. It's all over. Circus ring. There we go. Fergus looking very comfortable in top 64 winners. He's got all the right reads right now. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, down three. We got soccer kick. Three. No new season starting soon. <laughs> oh, a counter hit. Oh, oh wow. Nice. A side step and crouch cancel. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Oh, my God. Oh. Just, Fergus is looking relentless. I like this. I, I want to know how much money Mirio owes Fergus. Because <laughs> Fergus is playing like an angry man right now. That was all right. Hey, Ghost really is chopping down at him. Oh. Like, where's okay. them Pop Tarts you owe me? What's going on? Okay. Oh, trading lows here. He's backing off, backing off. Oh, okay, gets here we caught. go. We can't hit, but that's can't a good combo. Nice low parry, Mirio now. Trying something. to get something started. Finally, trying to get involved here. Okay, went for a slide. Okay, okay. nice. Marks on it, free, free. Oh, gosh. Oh, no. Oh. I think he tried to go for the couch cancel there, down forward two. He catches the float. All right. Mirio now. Oh, he didn't block the shoulder block. Plus frames. Oh. No, that's not going to do it. He Ferg bet, the, he bet yeah. the farm on that, and Fergus was all over him. 2-0. Fergus looked so comfortable there. He, yeah. he looked very comfortable. Very, very comfortable. Oh I mean, he, he's gunning for those points. Like I said, last year, didn't do too well in versus mm. fighting. He's come back this year with a vengeance. Well, yeah. you saw it right there. That yeah, was that was straight, solid. rapid, time run, speed run. <laughs> We're getting this done. Yeah, he's going to be, he's gonna be happy with that. It's always good to perform like that on a stream where you win six straight rounds and the other guys don't really get to do anything. It's a great confidence boost. It's a great yes. confidence boost in a big tournament like this. Definitely, definitely. So, oh, this is going to be... Oh, wow. An, an, this is going to be a very, very, very interesting match because up next we're going to have Lohai versus Sukun, who is the lone American here. The, the lone. I think mm. last year we had a lone American. We had Joey, Joey Fury. Fury. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's got that pressure now. Yeah, yeah. But I guess he's got the tasty seed power up. 
Where's well, Tasty? He's, He's probably he's about somewhere. Yeah. Tasty Steve will show up as soon as the game starts <laughs> and start <laughs> cheering on fellow Americans so we can hear. But shout out to Swick and flying all the way yeah. out. That's Big sick. shout outs, man. Come all the way from the LA. It's a long flight. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. A little bit. He only you came can, you in. You can watch a few movies in that time. <laughs> I don't know. He only came in last week. Was it yesterday? Yeah, oh, yeah? yesterday. So oh, wow. Jet okay. lag's probably. You probably know. feeling it a little bit. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. But I'm so sure he's going up against Low High, mm -hmm. Evo Champ. So let's oh, see what's yeah. He is the Evo Champ. Mm -hmm. Well, for a week or so, unless he does. Mm, yeah. You, nah, well, I was saying this earlier. You done back to back Evo, didn't you? Mm. Yeah. Are you the only one to No, win? no. It wasn't back to back, though, because I came second uh, 2003 and then I won 2004. Uh -huh. But then the second time I won was 2008. Oh. So, I was, so yeah. So I was spreading lies there. <laughs> you know, like, yeah, we had the evil double champ I, right I had there. three back-to-back -back grand finals. Uh -huh. So I came second, first, second. Uh -huh. And then in 2008, I came first again. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I was spreading bare lies. No, no, it's cool. Yeah, back-to-back. Yeah, I won. Yeah, back-to-back. Back. <laughs> like, it was me. It was me. <laughs> <laughs> but potentially, you know, low, high, strong. We've got evil yeah, coming up. Yeah, he's looking really comfortable. I mean, if he gets a good bracket, if he's playing, if he's feeling himself on the day, yeah, like he's on said, point. You said about it sometimes on the day, if you're in the clutch on the day, you're feeling yourself, you know, yes. you're in your right sweater and that. Yeah. You're in that crisp UIU, you know, they, I see their power. I mean, that is a perfectly pressed UIU hoodie. That's what I'm telling you. There's man, not yeah. a single crease where there shouldn't be. Bro, I, I woke up this morning and put my t-shirt on, I was like, bro, there's a big crease. I need to put a hoodie on, bro. I was like, yeah, I can't yeah. be rocking this. You know them ones where you wake <laughs> up, the hair's not that pristine, you gotta wear, you gotta wear a snapback, bro. <laughs> you ain't leaving the house like that. <laughs> anyway, you have here Sukin all the way from the US of A, the lone representative, making it through to top 64. Yep. You know, looking to hold it down for the States. Definitely, definitely. I'm interested to see this one. But he has a big one opponent here. Massive hurdle in front yes, of him. Yes, this is the <laughs> evil champ. But he is a lay specialist. Lay obviously came with season two. All right, here we go, round one. Oh, going for the magic for immediately. Oh, he's off to go Very oh. interesting. You don't yeah. see Lohai play Law as much. I think he's realized that, you know what? Shaheen can't get the job done all the time. Yeah. I've got to break up the Law sometimes. Yeah. And he's too good with Law not to pick him. I mean, Law, Law is a great character. character. Yeah. Oh. Okay, back one, two. Oh, Law said none of that. Oh, my days. DSS stands three. Still not having none of that. Just go. That was a very comfortable round for Lohai. Oh, Ow! Big can't hit. Massive dragon handle there. Uh, uh, he's gonna go to the wall. Yep, DSS wants some more. Yeah. That is so much damage. Every time life. I see that, man. Oh, man. Wild well, standing one, two, and that's it. Bang. Oh. Straight back. I mean, he's been seeing a lot of perfects today. Yeah, mad perfects. All right, Suriken. Gonna try and find a way to get involved. Here we go. Uh, uh, this is definitely gonna go to the wall. He's gonna get it again. Okay. Go to the junkyard this time. Low option. Plus frames. At the wall. Oh, oh, goes for the rave sweep. Doesn't get it though. No. Uh, uh. Oh, man, this is really looking hard. Yeah, definitely looking hard for Suikin. Can he get something inside? You know, Lei has those many stances. But if you know how to play against Lei, it's, it's kind of hard to uh, Yeah, to it's like, up. what does he do? What, what can he really get going? And, uh, that was unfortunate there. The, the wall combo just, it dropped. It's probably just a funny axis there. And I can't believe that. That was really, really it was, it was unfortunate I, there. I kind of felt a bit sorry for him. I mean, nothing worked at all. Come on, Tariqen, let's go. Just do it for time. USA right now. Let's do it. Give, a, give us some hype here. I mean, we didn't get to see how good Tariqen actually is in that game. Yeah. We did, you know, he's much better than that. So let's see if maybe this game he can kind of think about what happened in that first game and come with something different. Do you know what I mean? I think that might be really good because we want to see this match. Oh uh, Yeah, I, right. I want to see it. We want to see a hype match. Let's go, Tariqen. Okay, starts with the forward 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 three. three. Yeah. Oh, oh, just froggy, getting froggy on them. <laughs> Down forward one plus two, doesn't get it though. Okay. There you go, uses them plus down frames. one into Panther stance. Using that downfall to dis disrespect. Do oh, nice. Here we go. Step, hop kick, that's good. We can get some inside here. Yes. Nice oh, yes. evasiveness there. Oh, he's getting in. He's getting involved. Okay, the stunts are coming out. Oh, just, oh, oh no, no break, break on the one plus two. And this is probably going to go towards the wall. Oh, that's definitely dead. Yeah. That's, it's definitely yeah, over. Yeah, junkyard. Yeah, oh, it's over. Man. Unfortunate. That's what I'm seeing. Like, a better round from Sweden. It was a better round. A better round. This, this, but this just shows why Lohai is so strong. One opportunity to maximize that. Wow. One, two, three on block. Minus five pop kick. He didn't care. Yeah, sometimes he just got not I mean, He's, he's got such a lead right now. Yeah. He can go for that, can't he? He's got a mental lead as well. Yeah, everything's working out for him. Down back three. No, everything's turning up Millhouse, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I hate oh. this hand. You know, now you see me, now you don't. Don't yeah, look at the yeah. hands. <laughs> Oh, oh no! Ready. This time he committed to the four follow-up, and this is probably gonna get to the wall again. Side wall splat. Okay, noise is a side wall splat. Yeah. 
Oh, okay. Here we go. Here we get something started. Oh. No. no. Go to the delayed, delayed hop kick. He was probably thinking he was gonna low house, gonna try and finish with the, with the down four. Oh man. This is five rounds straight so yeah, far. Yeah, it's looking kind of rough for Suki. Oh, three plus four gets clipped by it. One, two. Okay, gets the wall splat. High wall splat. Yep. Half bar. Uh, oh, oh. That, that, you know what he's oh, looking for, man. but this gets is, launched anyway. This is really looking really tough for Suki right yeah. now. This is looking really, very unfortunate. Really Does have rage. Could make something happen quite possibly. He needs some big damage and he needs it. He needs to find a way to get yes. Here we go. And that's a good start. Okay, what can he screen. do here? Gets the wall. No, drops the wall combo. Can he deliver some magic right now? He has race drive. Low high. Like, oh, no. Uh, oh, dropped it and oh, goes for the down. Minus 14, but he didn't follow up with anything in the shake of, in the shake of hands there. Yeah. It's all over. Low high takes it six straight rounds. That was, um, I don't know, man. I that was tough. Yeah, that was, that was it was tough. a tough one. Like, yeah. I mean, but it's low high. Yeah, I mean, it's low high. You know, anyone could lose like that to low yeah. high. You know, most definitely. Most, most definitely. It was. It was. I think it was harsher than it looked. We all know. Su well, he's come out here. He won a tournament out in the USA to actually come out here. Oh, really? Yeah. I'm so, I think that's how he actually came out okay. here. He won something okay. out there. They flew him out. So he's competent. He can mm. do it. But just like you said, low high. He's an evil champ for a reason. And that match didn't look like it's that good for Lee. Just because, just you know, maybe junkyard pickups, down back three is really good against Lei. I mean, he's got so many things if you whiff anything, because Lei's thrive on being able to move around, have mobility, change stance all the time, play at a sort of range that's hard to whiff punish. But the range of Law's 1 3 plus 4 negates all of that. Yeah. He can catch you. He clipped him a few times. He did. Just exactly, trying to move definitely. about. And, and, and it's just so much damage. And then, of course, Law has the luxury of even if you block it, it's a mix up. Yeah. He might do the follow up, he, yeah, might, he not. might not. So even on block, he's kind of relatively safe. But he's got the time as well to react to the two hits, then do the four follow up and get the big damage. Yeah, so it, it's just such a hard it, matchup. It, it just looked really rough there. But like I said, so you can still in it. Yeah, still I'm in it, yeah. side, So yeah. I'm sure, hopefully it doesn't dishearten him so much. You know, <laughs> it's, 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 it's jet lag we talk about, maybe he's tired as well. True, like true. Sometimes on the day, you know, if you're not feeling it too much, you know. Excuses. Yeah, excuses. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to make it. I'm trying to pre you <laughs> up right now. Yeah, nah. You're right, though. There's a lot of factors involved here, and sometimes it's very difficult to bring your A game yeah. when there's all these different things going on around you. Definitely. So, yeah. Tishmon is up on Ooh. the streets up. And is it Galanda? It is Galanda. Yeah, it space. is. Galanda, Italy versus uh, Italy, Italy slash yeah. Japan. Wow. It's, cool. Because um, these guys, I think they practice together. They practice. I'm sure it's yeah, like yeah. Sensei and like. Like that kind of thing. It's, 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 it's kind of and call high. Yeah. <laughs> you know, let's see if Golanda has succeeded, mm. exceeded past. Mm. We'll see. We'll see. I mean, Katarina's a character that can definitely do some damage here. I'm sure they played, um, I think it may have been last year or two years ago, okay. and actually Golanda beat Tishuman, I'm really? sure. I'm sure in an event. I loved, I loved his run at the Tekken World Tour. Oh, Finals, that, that was. Bracket, the the, the, um, the last, last chance, chance qualifiers. qualifiers. I that think that was amazing. probably one of the most, when I say emotional things I've seen, that like having the whole EU crowd actually yeah. on Galanda's back. And when he won, the, the, I, I've never felt uh, atmosphere like mm. that. I mean, that's one of the most prestigious runs, if not the most prestigious run we've seen from a European player in any Tekken 7 tournament ever. Yeah. Bar Super Akuma. Yeah. Bar to become the mix-up Leon, I think that's probably the most prestigious yeah. run we've ever seen. And it couldn't happen to a better person. Like literally, everyone was mm. on Galanda's side, and when he won, it, it, it's weird. Like it actually felt like a victory for everyone. Yeah, like, yeah, everyone, everyone was getting a piece of that pie. Yeah. It was, it was great. It was great. Being mm. double in the finals as well, like it was really, really a great, great run. Now let's see if he can continue that winning streak here yeah. against Tishmon. And Tishmon, also a very, very stellar yeah. performer. Oh, he's, he's never counted. Yeah, you know, he, he's. He's been in the Tekken World Tour Finals. How many? Yeah, he does well. I think was it? He finished fourth or yeah. one year? Yeah. The first year. The first year he finished fourth. Place, fourth was, yeah. yeah. And that was so really yeah. strong. He didn't do so well um, last year, but he was in the final. Yeah. Yeah. He got there. I mean, even that is a you know That's a feat in itself. itself. Yeah. So um, yeah, no, great, great stuff. So I wonder, is he going to go back to his boy Marduk? Because well, it seems that he favours Marduk, but only for certain matchups. He won't pick Marduk standardly against everybody. He'll pick Master Raven, but then when he's feeling that the matchup is better for Marduk, he'll pick Marduk. Uh, I won't so it's definitely Marduk. a sub character yeah. rather than a, rather than a joint main. I remember watching his Marduk back in Tekken Five, and it, it was just oh my days! That Tekken Five Marduk was beastly. So Katarina, Master Raven, let's go. Character specialist here. Commencing mission. So heading to Mission Mode Dojo. It just ah, starts wow. up, no respect. Just oh don't, you know, are you blocking low? <laughs> <laughs> Crash that straight away. Yeah. Yeah. Why not? Ooh, wall yeah, bounce. bounce. <laughs> Tishimon looking to wow. speed run this. 
He was he, he really looked like he was going for a record. Yeah, record on round time. time. You know? like, oh, I need to be this time. 15 <laughs> seconds. Oh, man. Oh my days. Awesome games done quickly. Tishman officially sponsored. Yeah. He's hacking down. Okay, down for one one. Okay, nice. Go Tishman slow. trying to raise that cancer, cancer money. Yeah. <laughs> that money for cancer research. <laughs> <isn't it? laughs> oh. He comes through the sky. Okay. Okay, goes to the low, crushes. Okay, here we go. Nice. Okay, guaranteed. Yep. He's backing off now. Tishimov, he's totally switched up his style now. The I first mean, game was so aggressive. To be fair, Gerlanda has adapted really well here. I mean, he's got a good life lead. Well, he had a good life lead. But, you know, he's played a different style of... After that beatdown in the first round, he switched it up. And look at this. Okay, race drive. What's okay, he's made to spend the race drive. Uh-oh, oh. uh-oh. Oh, oh yes. big And Gerlanda with the patience. Man. Yes. You see that. He thought, you know, uh, he's going to press the button here. I'm going to go for this back swing blow, but like I said, Galanda being so patient, they're able to punish. Oh, super, super smart stuff. All right, one round each here. I've been saying, sometimes in Tekken, the hardest thing to do is not do anything. It's to do nothing. To yeah. do nothing. I say it's, it's, it sounds easy, but it's the hardest thing to do. It really is, because, you, you know, you've got, it's an emotional game. Yeah. There's all kinds of things happening inter internally. And sometimes the smartest thing to do is to do nothing. <laughs> They're just dancing around. Tishimon really switching up now. Not really wow. playing as aggressive as he did the first game, but goes to the sweep. They're giving us the full scenic route of the stage. Moving okay, around all the time. Breaking everything down. Someone's going to need to go to Ikea after this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and the power crush to close it out. Tishimon gets his second round. Tishimon looking strong. Nice okay, blocking low. Starting to round blocking low. Ooh. ooh. Okay, put a whip hop kick into a big launch. I know. It's going for two big... Launcher opportunity there. Okay, nice, nice block. Here we go on the spinner Rooney. You know, this is definitely going to go towards the wall. Going to get the wall splat, high wall splat. Yes, here we yeah. go. Goes to the stamp. Okay, nice follow up. He's on the ground as well. Cameraman was a bit drunk there. <laughs> I didn't know what he was doing. Wanted to be behind him. <laughs> yes. Nice. That was it. Two rounds each. Two rounds. You can see, man. This, these two have played against each other for so many years. You can see now that they know each other, they know how each other plays, and are able to adapt and actually adapt to the adaptation. And then because they're both here in Italy, they watch each other playing tournaments as well, so they know what kind of things they like to do. Yeah. Go just backing off there. Tries to catch him with the counter hit four, running in. But Tishimon just not biting. Again, goes for the counter hit four. He knows he's done. Okay, mm, he get out punch, the yeah. Well, he's very patient here. Yeah. Uh, he's going to nice turn it up. He sends his blood here. Just switching the play style up now. Playing very aggressive. Poking wow. him down. Just like that, Tishimon that making was a sick. great change. He, he, he blocked a hop kick. He blocked a Hail Mary hop kick. And he kind of knew he's not going to do it again. It's, it's probably like he's not gonna do Tishimon another probably one. sensed that that was the mental break yeah. for Galanda. So he's he so patient, so patient. This guy's now broken. He's done a yeah, hop yeah, kick. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to cancel that right now. And, he, and it worked. He just kept going in. He kept attacking. Even when Galanda stopped a couple of those buttons, he just kept yeah. going. Like I said, that hop kick probably was more telling than it, it probably then, then, yeah. yeah, than we could foresee from the spectators area. Real nice. Playing once again, playing very patient, waiting to see. Okay, nice. I mean, Galanda definitely looking for a whiff punish here, but he's not being given one. Yeah, doesn't teach him shutting up shop from the back here. You yeah. know, closing early, 6 yeah. p.m. <laughs> and that. 558. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Wow, that whiff? Yeah. That high, eh? It looks like a mid. Oh, oh nice power crush. Back turn power crush, one of the new additions to Master Raven. Mm -hmm. Katrina does have rage though, needs to be very careful. But Tishmon just playing very Tishmon, patient. Tishmon super, super evasive. Yeah. This is so hard to track him down. movement, man. Yeah. Definitely showing the art of movement right here. Pressuring the down forward once. Okay, gets a magic four, but no follow up oh, again. And another again. one this time. Commits to the rest of the fours and gets a combo. Probably been a little bit too aggressive here. I mean, I'm, I'm wondering if maybe he's not being aggressive enough right now. Galanda is letting Tishmon control everything. It's always oh, working out in the back. All guaranteed. Just you know, press buttons to stop that. Yeah. You know? Yeah. He's, maybe your turn, I'm just going to show you how oh. to disrespect. Go for the mid this time. He's been going for the low. Both have rage. Rage drive. He's been careful. Another, I knew he was going to do it again. I had a feeling he might do another one. Sometimes you just Great know, read you know, you know. Yeah. Great read for Tishman. Tishman looking comfortable here now. Two rounds up, but you cannot count Galander out. We've seen him last Ooh. year making that impressive run. He didn't believe Bumsy. That could have been a hop kick combo. He runs up in there. Okay. Ooh. Four, four, three. Yeah, hot kick. Oh, and oh, he even blocks the low. Yeah, I've heard Tishmon can block those Katarina lows. You have to be very careful That's losing crazy, them. Because last time he whipped off, he did while standing too, and he blocked that as well. Tishmon looking unstoppable right now. Yep. He's oh, looking at like he smells yeah, it. Yeah, he yeah. saw, yeah. Just playing, switching out, playing very aggressive there. 
That was a hard, a hard beating. Just showing that you're not good as a sensei just yet. Not you know? just yet. You're not a Jedi yet. <laughs> not a Jedi yet. Quite unfortunate there, Galando. As you said, you've seen him last year making it through. Yeah, I mean, Tishmon had to play like that. If you let Galando get all over you, he'll mash you up. Yeah. So you, you have to shut him down. But I just and love the way he adapted. Like, we saw two sides. You saw the yin and the yang there. You saw him being so patient. Waiting for his time, but he he knew he knew when it was like okay, now it's my time to strike. Yeah. He was relentless, exactly, with it. exactly. relentless. Exactly. I don't care if you block these buttons, eat these more, eat some more buttons. Bro. And that's why it's really important to practice your defense because when your defense gets more solid, it creates confidence. You know you can go in because if he does something, I can react to it anyway. Yeah, I'm ready for his interception. Just like that one time he went for that magic hop kick, where if he got that hop kick, it would have been super clutch and it would have been a breaker mentally, maybe for Tishman, at least for that one round. Yeah. But when he blocked that hop kick, like you were saying, he knew I've got him now. This is exactly where I want him to be. He's not going to do another hop kick because he knows I'm ready for those. Yeah, I'm so I'm just going to go ham. Mids, mids, safe mids, safe lows. And he just kind of shut him down yeah. after that. I'm telling you, Tekken is like a game of chess sometimes. You have to think four moves ahead. Yes. And Tishman, like I said, saw that hop kick and was like, that was it. Check, 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 check mate, mate, bro. bro. Yeah. That was yeah. it. All right, so... Um, yeah, so we're nearing to an end. We've got two more matches, Two more man. games, man. It's been a great day so far. For day one, it's been epic. Day and this is just day one. Th this is just, that's we're going to run this back tomorrow. So let's, let's just explain to them. So we're going up to top 32 today. Yeah. Tomorrow morning, is that, I think it's 10 a.m. BST. Yep. I ain't good at conversions, bro. So I don't know what time <laughs> your time zone it is. But 10 p.m., 10 a.m. BST is when it's starting top 32. Top 32. Indeed. Yeah, so we're going to go from top 32 to top 8, and then top 8 will be later on in the day. Tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, make sure you tune in tomorrow. It's going to oh, be really yeah, sick. Oh, you have to tune I in I mean, it's, it's been sick already. It's been yeah. sick already. Day one. This isn't even, like, the finals yet, and it's just already been mad, mad hype. We've seen crazy comebacks. We've seen sick upsets. We've seen a plethora of different styles of wins and losses on Tekken. Yes. It's been really, really cool. It's been so, I guess, up next will be... Oh! It's oh, wow. Be oh, what? One. Okay. So we're going to have CBM, Cherry Berry you know, Mango. Fruit punch and that, you know, <laughs> straight fruit. That sounds like a good cup. You know, that sounds all right. I'm kind of hungry still. And then versus, versus Malekith. Yes. Yeah, man, was very impressive. I saw him play um, False God earlier mm -hmm. on. He was very, very impressive. Yeah, I saw that as well. He played very confidently. Yeah. Very, very confident. It's very important on Tekken Sh to be confident yeah. in your game. Showing be confident, that experience, guys. man. And whatever you're doing on Tekken, be confident. Just in life in general, you've got to be confident. Man. Say yeah. it with your chest. <laughs> Say it with your chest. Put some bass in that voice. <laughs> now, uh, with Tekken, to be confident means to believe in yourself. Okay? And that can come from many different things. But one thing is, if you're going to go for a read, go for it. Don't second guess it. Because if you go for it and it doesn't work, you've learned something. If you're thinking to go for something and then you don't go for it, and then they do something that your move would have beaten, now you haven't even had the opportunity to learn about what your move could have produced because you haven't taken advantage of the opportunity. Always be true to yourself. Go for what you've practiced. Don't practice something, turn up at the tournament, and try and play different because you mm. think this is a pro player, it's not going to work. Do that stuff. The stuff you've been practicing, it will be the right thing to do. Why? If it works, you're golden. If it doesn't work, you've learned something. Be yourself. That's what I'm saying. This, this word, this is, um, you need to write a book. <laughs> so you need to actually write an FGC book and have these quotes there <laughs> help the guys go. But anyway, we're going to get into this. We're going to have Cherry Berry Mango versus Malekith. We're yes. probably going to see Asuka versus This is going to be a sick It's going to be definitely a sick Because I really like the way both of these players utilize their characters. They have really unique styles. Like, there is no Asuka like Malekith. There is no Jin like CBMs. There yes. isn't. There's Definitely many, there's the many Askers, there's gym many Jins, but they have such a unique style with these yeah, characters. And you can see the experience shining through on, from Malekith. Definitely Malekith. he's been playing from day. He's, you yeah, know? he's been playing from, was it five? Or I mean, I think from that? five, yeah. I, I used to go back and forth with him on five. Mm. You know, on, on five, uh, was it, I can't remember if it was regular five or DR, but I think, yeah. Um, DR, because it was on PS3, so DR. Yeah, and he's a great player. Great, yeah, it's great, definitely great strong. Like I said, Dinosaur, it's good to see that these guys are coming from that era, from way back, are still really strong. And it's, it's a shout-out to Tekken as a game as well, to actually bring those core fundamentals all the way through. Mm. Even though it's a different style of Tekken, it's kept the core, it's kept what makes Tekken Tekken. Yes, yes. So you Indeed. can have these players come back after so long and still play at the top of their game. It's incredible to see. It, yeah. I mean, because that's not easy as well. If you've been about for a long time, that means your tactics have been on display forever. So the fact you haven't been downloaded means you're a sick player because you're adapting for yeah. times. That's a great thing. It's not talked about enough as well. Mm -hmm. You know, it's actually a sick thing. All right, here we go. First round, ready to get locked and loaded here. I can't wait. It's the family battles and their cousins or something. <laughs> so I'm, sure, I'm sure in the family. Oh, yeah? Yeah, 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 like yeah. Like that. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh my affair. days, we've got Can Can literally opening the set. Oh, we got, we're going to go to the wall. 
get the yeah. Savage Sword follow up at the wall here. Down four. Down four what? again. What? Electric. What? He's paid that bill EDF. We've got awesome games done quickly with the CBM <laughs> edition now. I think they're having a contest. <laughs> trying to beat Tishmon's. <laughs> trying to beat Tishmon's record. Oh, back oh, three. Back but three. The Asuka special. Malekith is definitely not out. Oh, the race that was a oh, wow. And he blocks the very first. Yeah, low was, attempt there. That was very risky because if he hadn't made any wall splash. Oh, yeah, that could have been hurt. That would be a great comeback from Malekith, yes. but mm. Cherry Bay Man got able to make that read, put it all on black. But that's the thing, you can put your opponent on top faster if you get hard reads early. Yeah. On the, if you get hard reads on defense, that can really make your opponent snap. Yeah. Oh, nice. nice. Yeah, yeah, so hop board four. Yeah, really yeah. nice. And that's going to be it. Yeah, yeah, definitely. He's not going to drop this. Sick round from both players. It's a good round from Malekith. Just yeah. setting it down, you know, taking away CBM's momentum. Nice little demonstration of both players' uh, powers here. And, you know, the first and the second round. Okay. So All right. the wall again. Two, yeah. Right. Nice follow up again. Oh, four, four, two. Still up four. Oh, side step two caught him. Oh, but it's quite unfortunate. The side oh, wall's yeah, missed up. Oh, here we go. Big carrot hit. Wow. Okay, gonna come carry towards the wall. Oh, he just woke up with it. Malice had a big chance there. He could have definitely made that whip. In Has fact, the race. Oh, okay. And he gets the pick, pick up. up as well. And that's gonna be it for sure. Yeah, it goes to the yeah, race track. That is it. It. And the crowd <laughs> are definitely behind Malekith here. In the supportive continent on home continent soil. Oh, nice break there from TBM. Oh, again, gets caught with Ice yep. um, second time. Yeah. Cherry Brain Mango probably look at that. that is a big boy combo. Demon Paul Jab Savage Sword. Oh my word. And that is definitely going to be the round. all over. This is yeah. a seesaw matchup backwards and forwards. Yeah. Final round. This is actually speed round. I hope you got here really fast. <laughs> Two rounds each here. And they're a bit tentative in the opening of this last round. So the first game. Ooh. Very very low. Forward four. All purpose move. You can use it in any. Any situation. Really good for Jamaica cooking all purpose yeah, season. That's what I'm saying, but you can put it on any meat. Right. <laughs> it works. <laughs> Forward for threatening. Oh, Ooh, nice. Here we go. One plus two. What a read. Oh, combo drop. Oh. That has a significant life. is in trouble, but he gets a forward four, just what he wanted. Yeah, definitely. That's what he went for Christmas right there. <laughs> okay, life bar's about against even. The wall here. Yep, that's a bad position to be in. Oh, no one's coming from that too. Oh, goes to that CDM. Oh, oh side two. two. Goes for the crab. Yep. Nice throw break clutch. Yeah, there. Off the there we oh, go. Spent the rage drive now. Goes for the forward for three. Again. Oh, oh one, the one three. taking it. And he didn't low parry that. And you can see. And you can see he knew. He was, he like, was oh. disappointed. With that. He said, why did I not low parry that? The one three was such an obvious ender. It's one of the classic enders that Askers go for. One three. And you have the you have the alert warning from the one. Yeah. You know the low's coming out. You have time to low parry. But sometimes when you're up on that stage, it's, it's, it's just different. It's a different it's kind just of feeling. It's a different thing. It? Yeah, it's a different vibe, isn't it? And Malekith is a strong start here. One zero. Okay, We're going to see CBM drop to losers bracket. It's going to be crazy. He's probably one of the favorites. He came, he did come second in the mix up. I mean, this is no yet. Let's not count our yeah. chickens here. Oh, Malik is looking really strong. Just dash up down 4 2, try to get them on. Okay. CBM really needs to bring this back. Nice health sweep there. Get there himself go. involved in this game, in this round. Giving Malik something to think about. You need to think about these lows, bro. Nice. Electric wind hook fist. Uh. Okay, gets a dash up combo. Okay. Nice. nice. I yeah. like the combo. Down back two, three. But does have the rage to be very careful. Race drive. Well, Asuka's down race two, drive. Oh, and that was nice. a brilliant yeah. side step. You be very careful. Asuka's race drive is really good. Hits grounded. Yeah. Plus frames. It just hits everything. Right? She has she has lots of ways to do big damage. Yes. Here we go. Checking them boots. <laughs> okay, forward forward. Trying to get that count here. Terry Bay Mango so good at positioning those forward forwards. He, he rarely whiffs them. He rarely gets them stepped as well. He just knows when to press them and the great timing. But nice I say great carry. timing. Sick. Yep. And it's one of those things because, you know, you, Asuka has a lot of things that you don't want to get hit by counting. You know, you don't want to hit, run into back threes. Yeah. You don't want to run into full crouch down four twos. You know, there's a lot of things you're trying to evade when you're on offense as well, which makes, it, which makes her a really hard character to attack. Yeah, down back three. Oh, oh my big goodness. Big hit there. And that's one way you can get in. My oh, okay. Word. Springboard. Here we go. He's in plus frames. Yeah, spends a rage drive. Okay. Oh, does a, I think that may be safe. I don't know. Maybe it's a little bit slow. Probably a little bit slow now. Oh, no. Oh, I thought Oh, goes to the parry. That was a Why? big, big read. He held Malekith. that for too yeah. long. He held that for way too long. Because Trey Bray was backing up. He wasn't even in the space yeah. to do a move from there. It's a big read that didn't pay off there. Yeah. So I step two. Nice. Oh, course, we step two. Okay, jump kicks. One character. Oh, let it rip. Went underneath that, yeah. though. 
Angel has the life lead again, checking the boots. Oh, yeah. Nice counter hit. Catches him with the out of the step with the forward four. One three just chopping him and down. He's just going crazy with the lows. Forward four though. Here we this go. Is, the round oh, is not oh, over yet. Rocks a combo. Oh my days. Cherry Berry is looking to steal this oh, one. Oh, just wake up, jab. Oh, wow. Why not fast? And move? again, the one three finish. Yeah. Counter hit jab though. But is this something going to be living by the sword, dying by the sword? Savage sword. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah, man. big counter hit. Yeah, that was good. Okay, CBM looking a lot better this week. Just push towards the wall. Be very careful. Demon's forehead, wall, wall splat. And he's surprising himself to get out of the wall. Dangerous situation for Malakut to be in. Okay, so that's his arc in other positions of turn. He's got his... Oh, kill him in the back. Oh, slice it to a weak punish though. Yeah, Malakut being very patient here, but has to be careful because Cherry Bay Mango does there. have rage. Oh! Okay, here yeah, we go. Blocks it out. Drive. Okay, I like that. Back off. Four, four, four. A down jab. Okay, oh, what's up? The race drive of his own. And oh. yeah, back to one. We said and it he so was many mashing times. one there. <laughs> CBM was definitely mashing one when he saw the two coming out. The back two, and it is one one here. I'm telling you, back two one. It is the classic gym finisher. We've seen this so many times today mm. from gym players. Back to one is such a great move. It moves forward. But you can do it. Yeah, you, you can, can do, do it. it. It's two hits. It's safe. It's mid and mid. You can delay and it. It's pure range, bro. If they jump, you get a flow combo. <laughs> That's amazing. That's amazing. Dude. There we go. Just going straight back in. All Shut right. Up. So one one. Oh man, CBM on the board here. This is to move into, I guess, top thirty-two. Top thirty-two. Yeah. They both want to see. Top four, three, all. They're turning with the wind hookers. Okay. Four, 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 four. Yeah. Big count hit. While rising three. He's gonna get okay. to the wall. Okay. Get to the big combo again. Demon forward so jab. Half life gone. <laughs> Oh, big. Nice. Okay, here we go. 4 2 four, 2 six, four, up, yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. It's a big low parry. Can we get the, can get the wall splat? Oh, oh nice block there. Clash oh, oh he gets a big counter here. Here we go. Can Malikim get press. something started? Has the rage drive available? Oh, oh my goodness me. What did he press? What did he press? What did he actually press in that I situation? I can't believe he gave away the whole life bar against the wall there. Malikip here. CBM potentially a little bit impatient at the end of that first round. Yeah, very impatient. Could have definitely taken that one. Malikip with the reach though. Pushing him towards the wall again. Malikip is playing so well with his back against the wall. Malikip had the reach, man. He's yeah. Him. There you go. Cherry Bay and Mango. Okay, goes for the yeah, can-cans can can again. Yeah. Oh, look at that whip punish. No! You probably thought the wall would make it a side wall splat. I'm not sure what happened there. Yeah. That was definitely a misinput of some kind. I, I genuinely think you thought maybe a side wall splat would have happened oh, yeah. in the circular oh, stage. Man, and maybe that would have been the best you could have got. So unfortunate. Yeah. Back three, though. One round each here. Final game. Okay, trying to place that forward four. Oh, nice. Nice. Goes the mix up. Four. Okay. Goes for the plus frames. Nice. Catches him yeah. stepping. Forward, forward. Try to move. Where you going, bro? Oh, oh can, can, can can And this should be it. He gets the four piece. Oh. Okay. Oh, God. Uh -oh. He's in a very bad wall. position. Oh. Malekith, one match point. Set point for Malekith here. Looks up to the gods. <laughs> Help me now. There you go. Oh, gets the axe kick now. But Cherry Bay Mango just. He doesn't want to drop into losers here. Doesn't find the wall, though. Okay, down four. Four, four. Okay, Trying to get a count now. He's turned it up a notch here. Oh, but then we get a side step two wall splat. Okay, I respect it. Get yep, some damage. Four. And Goes Malekith. to the health sweep. This probably won't be it. Gets the wall to save his life. Oh! La oh, okay, here we go. Lao Perry. Ah, oh, this is double match point. This is so hype. Who is going to take it here? Move forward. Here we go. Okay. Using those forward balls, four. trying to catch a counter. Oh, he gets, counter. He gets it. He's going to go towards the wall. He gets the wall. Here we go, jab. Oh, oh he missed the whole follow up with the wall. He left Malekith with more energy than he should have. There's oh. the one standing two, though. Here we go, jab. He's going to get yep. the full combo now. Malekith does have rage. You see him make a comeback. Yeah, and that's, that's going to be, be it. it. Malekith drops 2 1 to CBM, and Spag is on stage here to congratulate <laughs> his boy. And there you see they hug. He is so happy. CBM takes it. Two games to one. What a close set that was. Yes. That could have gone either that way. Definitely, because that was definitely down to the wire. Yes, seriously. Props was. to Malekith out there. Just came up a little bit short. The gods didn't help him, man. I know. He, he got he, hit. He, 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 he asked for help. I mean, I don't know. Maybe he was asking the wrong god. You know. 
2-1, CBM takes it. He is your winner of that match. Um, brilliant, brilliant stuff. Great composure from him because it looked rocky for a little while. Yeah. You see, like, at the end, he went for the electric, electric. That was like, that's like the classical frame trap. Like, he probably done it so precise that you actually couldn't press anything <laughs> in between there. Yeah. You know about the precise execution. Yeah, yeah. I know you got the electrics. <laughs> he wanted to just create an area where he couldn't press buttons. Yeah. He wanted to make him respect the frames so he could go comfortably for a closing move. But that was just really good at the end you know and that's the thing with someone like Jin I think at the end you kind of need to turn it up and if you've got yeah. your opponent pinned down against the wall you have to use that you have to use that situation to your advantage you've got the terrain advantage he's he's pinned against the wall you've yeah. got you got to make that get you damaged walls are very they play a big part in Tekken man they definitely play a big part in Tekken so I think this is so actually going to be match our day. final match of the, the day Phantom. man are we going to get some pads thrown in this game? Uh, bro, as long as it doesn't come this way, <laughs> I'm fine, bro. As long oh, as it doesn't man. fly... Not, not this way. I'm not about this way. Yeah, I'm yeah, not yeah, about yeah. getting hit by a pad that's, tonight. That's long, that's long. <laughs> no, no, west, no west flying pads, please. Yes. Throw it east, north, <laughs> south. Anywhere but here. But he's going to be going up against Goki Akuma. Yes. Young lad from... I, I want to say Liverpool. Mm. I want to say, but he's a young lad. Up and coming. He's not say young. He's a teen. He's still in his teens. He's getting going. He's getting going. But I've seen, I've, I've seen him post videos, right, mm. of these combos with Akuma. He does no death. I mean, not no, no range death combos. Really? Akuma. Yeah. His execution is on play. He played a little bit earlier. Was a little bit shaky on his execution. Is it an Xbox pad? Ah, oh, interesting. He uses an Xbox. Is he pad. playing an Xbox pad? That's not even an Xbox One pad. That is like. I think that's an Xbox One pad. Is it? Yeah. He's got an oh. Xbox One pad. Wow. Okay. Interesting. I, I think that's the first person I've seen. So much for Sony exclusive X. games, oh. boy. <laughs> <laughs> we've got the Microsoft peripherals on deck. There we go. So we've got teammate bonus gin mission. Him luck. But like I said, he's got this execution. And Akuma with execution. If he's playing against an Akuma with execution, it just makes it 10 times scarier. Right, right. But then so again, the Phantom, though, a very experienced player. Yeah, in his own definitely. Right. I mean, this guy's been playing since Tekken 5. Maybe even earlier, I remember him. And I'm talking about 5.0. This is way back. You yes. Know? So, yeah, he, he definitely knows what's up. And he's always, 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 from the earliest of days, I remember him always being a Raven player. Yes. Always. Never any other character. As far as, far as I remember, anyway. He, he so, came um, dressed as the Raven to did, one tournament. He, he did all the hand seals for Raven. He knows them all off by heart. I think he does them as a ritual before bed every night. <laughs> I think that's a strict ritual that never I gets denied. I, I, I think I had to ask him, I was like, how did you even learn that? Like, I, did, I wouldn't even know where to begin to yeah, yeah, start yeah. learning that. I mean, I, I, I heard along the grapevine, he taught Sasuke all his seals. He taught Sasuke the seals. Like, <laughs> this guy knows what he's doing. All right, here we go. First game about to get underway yeah, here. Final match of the day. Oh, go stretch some shoulders. Let's get into yeah, this. Yeah, I know. Let's get in there, man. Abandoned Temple. Let's ride this one out. All right, here we go. Abandoned Temple again. I hope this is going to be hype as that last game that was on Abandoned Temple. That was mad hype. So there we go. Goki Akuma. It was a bit shaky earlier on, but I'm sure probably the nerves have dropped now. You know, I want to see that high burst damage from Akuma. We yep. know he can do. We know he can do it. So let's go. All right, round one. Go Phantom. Okay. Okay. He's playing by the He's playing a little bit. Up very down back for straight yeah. away. Why not? Let's go for it. Ooh. Okay. On the dome. It's okay. Yep. I like Guaranteed. it. Block. Oh. Right, here we go. Guess goes on the meter. Let's come on. We didn't have meter to bring him with. He's gonna find the wall. No, oh, okay. A little bit of drop there. Mm -hmm. I guess oh, ran into yeah, that. Yeah, gets caught. And this, if this finds, now yeah, this is probably gonna be dead. Yep. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's, that's it. That's it. That's it. I like, I like how you were the wall there as well. Well, he, he's an experienced player, man. He and just she knows. Has, she has great wall carry. So I think, you know. He's used to knowing where we are. <laughs> yeah, here we go. Oh, oh drops no. a combo. Yeah. As you've seen this earlier about from Goku and Kuma. Like, he, I know he can do these combos, but it just seems like when he comes on the stage, it's a little the bit of Yeah, yeah they it's kick a big in. game as well. They do kick in, for sure. You found him with the parry. Okay, went for that back turn. No okay. break on that. Okay, catch him up. Yeah, oh, wow. Get, get, get some guys can follow up there. Does have braid and a bar. Needs to be yeah. very careful. He's going to float him out with that combo. Nice float there. He's going to go for the rage drive. Okay. What? Um, what? That was unorthodox. Was that, a, was that a setup of some kind? Or was he baiting him into pressing buttons so he could get the counting at wall splat? I think he may have tried to go for a down three there mm. where he um, charged up so it was like guaranteed yeah. dead. But I guess the mid worked out. In fact, he probably did try to block low. Yeah. Oh no, he could have got more there. There you go. That charge sound. Akuma does have two bars. Very dangerous. Looking for an opening to use okay. him. And he has rage as well. We know what the happens Phantom here. Phantom doesn't want to give him that opening though. Look at this. Working on a perfect. Yeah, he's 
I'm oh, wow. I've said this before. Phantom thought I was trolling him when I was saying this. He uses yeah. up forward four so well. He uses it a lot. Yeah. He uses it a lot, but the way yeah. he does it is it's so hard. It's very unpredictable. Yeah, an opponent. Is, I, I haven't seen anyone approach it correctly. Mm. The only person I've seen with punishes once, I think it was maybe Kokoma, I can't remember who it was, that actually with punished him with a rage and right. heart. And so far, he's controlling all the space and momentum. I mean, look at this. Loki Akuma is finding it so hard to just place moves in the right. Look at that. Seems to be he's hard for him to get in. He's having trouble actually yeah. getting in yeah. on the Phantom. The Phantom is playing so slippery right yeah. now. The Phantom is so evasive. Look at this, backing off. Yeah. Using our forward forward to keep him yeah, out. Don't want to run in. Eat cartwheel. Cartwheel out of there. Yeah. Oh man, and then when he's ready, a back turn. Oh. oh. This time goes to the mid. Yeah, just catch him. Again, he's got yeah. anti airs now. Okay. He's spamming that up forward four. He is rinsing that. See, and I was, I was, this is what I'm saying. He thought I was joking. I said, no, the way he he's getting all four, the juice out of the up forward four sponge. He's getting every bit of juice out But the thing is, the wow. up forward four is stopping um, Goku Akuma from going for the down three. Right, and the down four. You can't do that either. Yeah, it's stopping wow. him to get that big burst damage to come. Yeah, and you like, can no. see he's rubbing his forehead. He's, he's like, not happy with that. I mean, <laughs> what do I even do? This guy's a madman dashing out up forward fours. How do I fight this? Yeah, he definitely needs to come up with an answer. My man's, my man's just doing some stretching like it's Monday morning. <laughs> you know, <laughs> it's a regular day at the office. Yeah, it seems like he had real trouble approaching there. I, he did, he did about five, he did about six up forward four. Yeah. In well, it's, it seems like if, if he didn't have the answer there, like, well, what you know, is the answer not? to that? Though? I mean, how, how do you deal with that? That's mad. Well, that okay. is a question that Doki needs to find, find out. Find the right now, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, we are teleporting through you. There you go, we have no way. respect for your yeah. being. There you go. Okay, get the full combo. Attack. Yep. Surfing on him. Oh my days. You know, I can do life surf and surf right now. Oh yeah, don't even, don't even get me started. Wow! Oh, uh, do we just see three parries in a row? Oh, the Phantom is trolling hard here. He gets a final. Okay, well, not really the most. Someone's had Earth from the car. Not really the most <laughs> optimal panic. And another one of the, like, Phantom is having the field here. Right yeah, he, he's just, having fun. He's let, let, let's be realistic. He's not playing serious right now. He's just messing with us. There we go, down for one. Needs to try and keep him check. Goku Kuma really needs to now find he needs to find the answer now. But I mean he can't he can't get any he can't get any room to control. Because yeah. Phantom Knight, he's all over him. He just can't get anything going in the way that he wants to, and this is not a comfortable space for Akuma. He's playing proper boxing, he's like in and then out, he's coming Akuma in and then out. Akuma is used to being the evasive one yeah. who gets to do demon flips and all the circus parlor tricks, and it's been turned around. Yeah, Phantom, Phantom is the one doing he's all that. Looking now. So strong. Okay, yeah, good punish go. yeah, here. Great stuff. Your focus and, attack. And this is what Raid Akuma needs. This is what Goku Akuma needs more of. Oh, cross up tactics. Yes, I like more it. This, this is go. what he needs. Yes, great. He goes to the fire block, up. runs in. Okay, oh, I like that. Oh, oh, I like that. And he patience. paid that out as well. Yeah, just, he needs a little bit more patience there. And he's in trouble here. He's against the wall again. Demon dips out though. Okay, here we go. Got his speak up. Oh, yeah. goes to yeah, Demon Dip. Nice. Demon Pro gets it. Oh, and, uh, and the scoop up with the sweep tatsu. Finally, yeah. some joy for Guki Akuma. Yes, needs to work on this. Needs to use that momentum. Try uh -oh. get some He does have the bar as well. Okay. You're going to see. Okay, went for the can't hit right there. Okay, sweeps. There we go. Yep. Nice sweep there. Okay, we'll open the low. Could have got off. Pick a punish there. Okay, spins the bar. Okay, oh, nice. here we go. Yes. yes. The Phantom might have been trolling earlier, but he's going to have to wake up now because Goki Akuma's got some plans for him, it looks like. Okay, nice combo. I see that attack. Oh, oh look at this. Wall bounce. And he's going to take the round here. Goki Akuma finally involved. Yeah, he's waking up. He's definitely waking up. Trying to save his match point now. He just needs this one round to make it even Stevens here. And there's the up forward four, ever threatening. There you go. Has that two bars again. Oh, oh, oh. Here we go. Uh -oh, here we go. Uh -oh, uh -oh. We're going to get something he's started. Damage. He's going to go to the wall. Yeah. Definitely going to get the wall slapped. Follow up. Okay. So much damage. He goes to the Oki. I respect it. Okay. okay. Fight, fight him under some real pressure for the first time. Oh, what's he gonna do about it? It's gonna be a launch. And he's gonna put Goku nice. Akuma in rage. Not gonna kill him. Wow. But he's gonna be in a bad position. Next hit will probably kill. Yeah, oh, that four, is four, it. The Phantom four, takes four. it. The headset is already off. He's out the chair. They shake hands. Two games to zero. Goku Akuma, it looked like he started to get used to how yeah, he Yeah, yeah. He started to feel more into his groove. So, there. so it's like to work out, like, oh, I need to play a bit more like this, you know, chill out a bit more there, get my damage here. And it was paying off. It was working out. But. After giving late. the Phantom that first game, yeah. it was a bit, it was a tall order. It was, you know, was kind of too, too much too late. So, shout outs to uh, the Phantom. He did what he came to do. Taking it to top 32, man. Sick, man. And here he is. He done that <laughs> and before he and he scared the hell out of me. Oh, like, really? Someone's got a clip on that. Like, <laughs> you were ready this time. Uh, yeah, I, I, I was ready. I'm never getting <laughs> caught by that again. I'm not getting caught slipping so, like yeah, that. Yeah, man. Well, Phantom officially three games in a row.
Those two and the win against him earlier when he scared him. So oh, yeah. my days. Three, three straight, man. You have to hold that L, bro. I, I have to, bro. That, <laughs> it's out, that's the thing about this day and age. It's out there on the internet. Someone's already clipped I know someone told me they've already clipped it. Oh, really? Like, I've actually, his finger goes like this, and I've jumped. Like, what, what the hell's going on? You have to hold that L, bro. I'm going to hold it. I'm going to hold it. Shout out to you guys on stream. Thank you so much for tuning in all day. It's been great having you here. Part of the Versus Fighting 2019 Master Event for the Tekken World Tour. That's it for me and Bubsy from yeah, today. Man. For today. Um, the end of the day, I mean, we're all tired, super hungry, but we're super I'm hyped and pumped mate. up of Tekken action. We've got so many ideas <laughs> of stuff we want to try out now from all the stuff we've been seeing. But make sure you tune in tomorrow for the rest of this amazing tournament. Top 32 action is going to be going down, and we're going to whittle it down to the top eight, and then, of course, the grand finals, where we will see who will be the Versus Fighting 2019 Tech Master Champion. See you tomorrow. Take care.